Oh, I gotta read the intro stuff still too, so. That is, uh, again, this was one where the, the voice up in the mountains had asked us to go, you know, retrieve some items, some vessels or something like that for him, so. Uh, mission says, so there's a disembodied voice somewhere deep in the Copperneck Mountains, and it wants you to collect vessels that will help it escape its confinement, a bookish quattro at the University of Justice classes, to look up at you. And you want to know exactly what this voice is? He laughs nervously. Okay, well, I'll do what I can. I'll start with rituals that could separate a voice and its host. Uh, the quattro sort of drifts in the middle of the sentence as he wanders over to some bookshelves where he leafs through various texts. You decide to head to the market for a few hours. When you return, the quattro rushes up with excitement. I found it. He waves a book in your face. I hit a number of dead ends until I realized the voice wasn't separated. It was just the only thing that can get through the barrier created to imprison it, which implies that the barrier itself was extra planar, most likely created by the Aesler ages ago. So I did some digging through all the texts we have on Aesler rituals, which isn't much. They're very reticent about such things. But luckily I found this book. It is a specific recounting of the binding of a demon in the Coppernecht Mountains uh, regions you referred to. Apparently this creature was so strong, the Acers enlisted the help of the Savas and the Harrowers too. They claim it was powerful enough to lay waste to an entire continent. If it's asking you to help free it, I'd strongly recommend against it. The accuracy of the text is admittedly a little questionable, but whatever the t voice is, it was bound for a reason. The Quattro quickly, or finally waves the book around uh, and begins to flip through the pages. In fact, you can hear the voice of the outside, or it, the fact that you can hear the voice outside the cave and it has such strong influence over you sounds as if the barrier is weakening, as the author warns. Uh, next page, there we are. Apparently there's a scepter that could be used to strengthen the binding ritual, but the author says it has been placed on an island along the south shore for safekeeping. There's a simple incantation detailed in text to open the door to the shrine. Two days later, you stand before the ruined structure, which now sits half sunk in the waterlogged earth. You speak a few foreign words and the door creaks open. You get the strong sense that this door is not the only thing between you and this scepter. Uh, special rules. Um, so, th okay, so this was the one where we're, we're not doing what it's asked. Apparently this scepter thing is, is not something it had asked us to get, so. Um, but there's, there's two different forks of this side mission here. Uh, special rules for this mission, though, it says the treasure tower can only be looted by, losing it, by using a loot action. It cannot be looted by normal end of turn looting. So, uh, Ben, I think you had one <laughs> total card for loot. I, I might have one or two. Uh, just we'll, we'll need to, you know, don't lose those as lost cards or we won't be able to finish it. Uh, somebody will have to actually loot it, I guess. Um, reward is just 10 gold, so nothing exciting. All right, that is it. Uh, so we'll want to clear these guys, obviously, before we open the door. Uh, and they'll have shield and the elites will poison yep. if they attack One us. One shield. Yeah, and the, the, uh, the elites also poison if they hit us, so. Uh, what did Splash I Splash damage. Uh, I could get that out of the way really early, but I don't want to lose cards when, we, well, when that second room might take a bit. All right. Anybody have any specific plans for this first room? I'm actually going to put on a Doom uh, to where when the enemy dies, I get to do an attack on three different enemies within a range three of me. So if you guys just want to concentrate on one... Of the regular ones, I guess it'd be easier to kill them than I can hit some of the other ones. Nice. Yeah, it's good. That'll be so a good room just for let that. me know which one you want me to do. Uh, I'll be able to go for a squad or two so I can drop that doom quick. When he dies is when you get to make the attack, right? Yep. All right, so I'll try to go early and hit the middle one, Ben. Uh, how, he's, how much do they have? 11? Okay. Uh, I'll try to... How much, how much damage do you think you'll be able to do? Realistically. Uh, it's not... It's not much. It's just an attack of two for three different targets at a range of three. Okay. So. All right. Uh, I could hit the middle guy as well. So okay. ben, ben needs to get the doom, doom off. Him. Yeah, so uh, that's probably our best bet, but we want to make sure that Ben gets the doom off before it dies. So Because uh, otherwise he'll have to choose another one. I'll be able to go first quarter. So. Okay, all right, cool. So, Becky, uh, if you and I both hit him, we should be able to kill the middle one, which will give Ben the free attack for the <laughs> others. So that'll be some extra free damage. If he doesn't die, he'll at least be muddled. All right. Um, I need to put up my favorite, and then I'll do... I'm going to do kind of a splashy damage for the uh, the three left oozes. Okay. I'll see if I can damage those. So the two uh, center elite, the... left elite, and then the left normal? Center, left elite, and normal. I'm just uh, counting this out here. Range two, and that is a three... Two. 
Yeah, I think I could do that. Two, three. Yeah, that fits. Um, in that case, I will. I'll uh, also immobilize um, the one on the left. Okay. Um, I've got my cards. I won't be making a direct attack uh, this turn, but I, I will have some probably some free attacks. So I think between those two, if it doesn't die this turn, Ben, then uh, then your doom modifier probably you know early next turn. Uh, either way, enough time obviously to to get the full three attacks out. Because they're going to move too, so even the furthest, the one that's too far away from you right now, uh, will probably move within range three. So, yeah, they should be able to get there. So I can hit three of them. Cool. Couple of points at least of damage. You got you putting your cards up, G? Oh yeah, sorry. Just got to get these guys poisoned and stop as quick as possible before they start splitting. Yeah. Well, if someone can put up another element next round, I can just outright kill one of the elites. Um, I probably can. I, I'm, I'm not putting one up this turn because I, I have to. My first round is yeah. It, I mean, it'd have to be the next see. round for me okay. too. Okay. So. Uh, what element would you need? Any. Uh, I'll give you a second here. Oh, I don't want to burn a card. Um, Shoot, I'd have to burn a card. Yeah, don't worry about it. I can do it for kind of normal. I have a bunch of my cards just accidentally or uh, oh. inadvertently also put up wind. So, actually, I can put up some wind on the next on this one here if you want. Well, she um, can't do it this turn anyway. So, okay, yeah, we're good then. Yeah, just said you have to do it on the next round. So, all right, starting the round. I'm at initiative 15. So Fox, you're first, then I'm after you. Okay. Um... I'm putting up a song that uh, all allies add plus one to all of their movement actions and plus one to range to all their attacks. Oh, yeah. Nice, thank that'd you. be great for this one. We have to run a bunch. I'm going to move here. And then I'm going to add curse to their deck. All right. And that's it. Alright, let me grab my modifiers. Yeah, I think the next room... Yeah, next room opens northways. Alright, uh, so I'm going to put up a new favorite. There. And putting up Overwatch. So the next five times an enemy moves, uh, within range five, I get a free attack against them. If I can arrange these. Come on. Uh, Becky, you're up. Okay. We... I'm going to shield one myself and put up darkness. And then... I'm going to... attack this guy for four to range of four with muddle and curse. Nice. Don't need to heal, but that's awesome. <laughs> and now I'm in the free invisibility. <laughs> yep. So that's five. five. Minus one from the shield, so four. And then he's also muddled, and they get cursed. Start off the cursed rolls already. And darkness and that is my turn all right ben you're up <coughs> uh, ready damn it they're not moving this turn everybody's gonna be poisoned though all right going to doom mr center ooze here number nine all right so again when he dies is an attack of two some of these dudes and i'm also going to Summon my buddy, Orson Wells, so we can take a hit or two in case he's able to get crazy. All right. So. Yeah, it's up here. And there's Orson. All right. Actually, he's going to pop right here. Cool. That's it. All right, Sako, you're up. I'm up. Move my cards over here. Oh. All right, flip them. 
Boom. All right. So first things first, we are going to cast Immobilize on the Ooze uh, 2. Bottom portion. Range 3, target 2. He's the only person in target range, so Immobilize. All right. Boom. There it goes. Uh, it doesn't damage him. And then the other card is the Vile Pestilence, the top one. Uh, range 2. I'm going to move that Hex as high up as possible. So I guess that's one, two, and yep. use the bottom of it. So E1 would be the those. center. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now all of them are attack one, but they have one shield for everything. Uh, but they all get poisoned. So I could put poison on all of them, correct? Yeah, but you still roll it anyways, because you could pull a modifier that does more damage or yeah. you know has other stat bonuses and stuff. So. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and put poison on them really quick here. Well, so you would normally, anyways, you can put the poison on it. Just keep in mind that the poison will not impact this attack because the attack yes. happens before the poison. So. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, rolling first modifier for ooze number two. Okay. Draw attack modifier. Boom. Poison. Irony. All right, so nothing Plus to him. You. Nothing to him. All right, we're going to go to ooze number three, attack modifier. Plus one, right, so you so one damage. One damage. Yep. And number nine. Love Poison. It. Zero, so nothing to him. All right. That's it. Poison will still help and still one damage anyways. All right. Uh, the oozes are each going to do... Um, they're not moving at all, but they are going to do an attack of targeting two at range three at minimum, range four for the elite. So pretty much all these guys are going to get two. Uh, hit all of us. Uh, it would be guy on the left here first. So attack of two, or so well attack of plus zero. So attack three, drawing modifier uh, plus one against me is four damage to me, and poisoned. All right, um, and his second target will be f uh, Sako because Fox is in the middle. She's going to end up taking more hits anyways. Uh, Sako, you're you're further away you're going to end up taking less so this will probably be the only hit you take uh, attack of 3 plus 0 so 3 damage to you and poison oh shit I went normal not elites first but it doesn't matter it's the same result anyways uh, I'll do the other normal just so, since I already started it uh, this one will attack uh, Ben and his and Orson so uh, attack at Orson for 3 plus uh, minus 1 so 2 damage to Orson G and a poison to him and then now attack at Ben's Doomstalker, three plus one, so four damage to UG. And poison, if you want to apply that. <coughs> uh, then from the elites, we've got uh, seven, three, nine. All right, so three is on the far left. That'll be against me and Fox. One, two, three. Yeah, you can, oh, well, he's actually got four. Yeah, uh, it'll still be Fox and I, though. Uh, actually, one, two, no, because he can hit Becky, we'll spread it out a little bit. We'll do Becky. I'm and, invisible. Oh, never mind. All right, so it is Fox and I, then. Um, uh, so start attacking at me, attack of three, minus one, so two damage. Now at Fox, attack three, plus two, shit. Five damage to Fox and poison. Oh, Jeez, geez. this is going to be a rough one. Yep. We'll probably, after we clear these guys, we'll need to, you know, take a round of heal up or long rests and stuff before we open the door and then run for it. All right, uh, that is three, so seven is the next one. This one will be Orson and Ben, uh, or in range four of him, so. Uh, wait, one, two, three, uh, oh yeah, Fox, or Becky's uh, invisible, so Orson and Ben. Attack of three, null, all right. That is a shuffle though, so that means that plus two is back in the in their deck, but curses haven't come up yet. Uh, so missed on Orson, now attack at Ben of three, Oh, but there's a curse. All right, Ben got lucky. Neither he nor his right. his boar. Uh, that's the monster one. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, and then now middle one will be at uh, Ben. How about you and I? Actually, sorry, Orson and me uh, will be the, the target for this one. Um, so middle guy uh, attack of three plus zero, so three. Oh, so uh, poison uh, with poison actually is four, so four damage to me. Now attack at Ben, uh, plus zero, so four damage to UG. That's it for their turn. 
All right, ending the round. Um, we did. We definitely need to get the poison off, but be. Hang on. Wound is heal and remove, or poison is heal and remove. Uh, poison only heals. Uh, wound is uh, remove and heal. Okay, so healing right now would be a waste of time. Um, if we can get these guys dead quickly, because right now we wouldn't actually get any hit points back, and they're just going to poison us again. So we need to get them all dead as fast as possible. Uh, so I'll put an element up. Uh, Becky, can you hit one of the elites to get him dead? Preferably the one on the right. This one? Yep. Okay, all right, then I'll get wind up for you as soon as possible here. Let me see when I can do that. Um, ben... The other guy hasn't moved yet, but you should be able to hit the three on the right at the very least, right? What's what, what was it? Range three, you said? Yeah, range three. But with the uh, fox's song, it should be range four now. So oh, that's right. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, range four. All right. Yeah. Then you. let me get wind up, and I'll. How much does he have left? Uh, all right. I'll kill this guy. I'll, I'll take care of the elite so Ben gets his free attack. Um, Becky should be able to kill this one instantly. Uh, when is that? When can that happen, Becky? Uh, it's either going to be real early or real late. Okay. Let me see when I can get wind up, because ideally we want to have that happen before he gets a chance to attack again. Um, My screen was down a little bit. You said this one she's going to take care of. She's going to kill him, one? and I'll kill this one. And then Ben okay. is going to get an attack of... of he's going to get attacks against three different enemies for, for a small hit. Um, gotcha. But because of the range bonus, he should be able to hit the remaining three at the very least. Gotcha. Um, so if, if you guys can focus on the uh, elite number three on the left there and the two normals, those would be the ones that should remain after my, my turn and Becky's turn have gone. Got it. All right. Uh, Becky, the wind. Shit. Uh, yeah, I'll use that. That'll that'll be a good strong hit for now. Okay. Um, I don't need to push, so I'll go with... Uh, I'll be going very early um, in the first quarter. Okay, I'm going, like, mid-first quarter. Okay, all right, I'm going early first quarter, so should still be okay. Um, the win should be up for you, for you by then. Uh, and then... That would be handy. But I don't need the wind right now anyways if that goes off. That's not a loss. I don't want to waste that. All right, I got my cards. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you guys were ready. All right, starting the round. Uh, I'm at 11 as well. Sako, what is your second card? What's your initiative on your second card? Let me take a quick look. Uh, initiative on the second card is 59. Okay, all right, so I'm first then. Uh, mine's 24, so we're, I'm, I'm at 11 also, but my second card's 24. Uh, so I am putting up, uh, using the top of... Shit, hang on. No, god damn it, I switched my second card. Sorry, guys, let me switch that back. It was this one, uh, which means my second card is 20, so I'm still still uh, faster than 29, or 59, rather. Uh, so putting up wind using the bottom of Rip from the Flesh, uh, it will be a, a plus three heal to myself, which will just remove the poison. Um, and uh, actually, hang on, let me do the other card first, because I want to get the kill. So using the top of Quick Turnaround, which is an attack of four at range three uh, with a two push, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite to make an attack of seven, and I'm going to use my eagle eye to give myself uh, advantage, my eagle eye goggles, uh, so that I can't pull a, pull a miss and screw this. So eagle eye goggles, and I'm also going to use the slug crossbow for uh, during your single target attack, uh, ranged attack ability, add plus one attack to and turn it into a uh, you know two hex attack, two separate attacks. So first one will be against the uh, ooze there. Uh, using an attack of 7 total with Wound, uh, because I'm going to throw the favorite at him. Uh, with advantage is plus 1 or plus 2, so he's definitely dead, and that would have put up Wind anyways. So, Ben, that triggers your Doom. Um, 
I'm gonna Ooh. make my second attack real quick, and then you can do your your doom attack. Awesome. Uh, all right, uh, and then the second attack mm. from the slug crossbow. I'm gonna hit the one in the back. Becky, you're you're confident this one will die, right? When your turn goes off. Either one that's still up, I will take down. Okay. Then I take can the, just kill them. Because this one isn't poison, <laughs> take him, and I'll fire my slug crossbow at this guy as well. Um, or the, the second attack from the slug crossbow. So it is attack of four um, with advantages plus two or plus three. Hell yeah, <laughs> plus three. All right, so seven damage to him as well. Nice. Uh, minus one from the sh Actually, minus one from the shield, but plus one from poison. the poison, so seven damage, yeah. So he has three left. Uh, nice. And then the bottom of Rip from the Flesh is uh, plus three heal, which won't be actually heal, but it will remove my poison. Um, and add strengthen and gain one experience if you killed an enemy this round and put up wind. So wind is now up, and I got strengthened for next turn and one experience, and that is it for my turn. And it's your turn, Sarko. Nice. Okay. Um, for the healing potion, I think I might drink. Actually, I'll drink the healing potion next time. Um, all right. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, ben, yeah, Should I do my doom first yes. to make sure it doesn't yeah. change anything? Yeah, you on definitely the did. Sorry, I, I forgot, okay. Sarko. Sorry, oh, Sarko. Okay. No problem. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you there. I'm right. going to Discord. also, on this attack, add in my piercing bow, which ignores all shields for the round. Oh, yeah. So, nice. Yeah. I'm going to hit uh, everyone except for number seven, because that was when the Becky's going to be able to one-shot. So okay. I will start with, on the right, so I'll start with who's number eight. It's an attack of two. Okay, so an attack of two on that jerk. Okay, and then I'm going to go after who's number three for this one. Kill him. Yeah. Uh, well, because you're ignoring shield and he's poisoned, it is plus one, making it three, so he's dead. Okay. Uh, and then on number two. Cool. Nice. Three on him. Well, four on him. He's poisoned, right? Yeah, four. Yep. Good hit. Thank you. All right. That is it for my doom. Cool. Nice. Jeez, look how fast we all went. 16 is the latest of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, this one, I'm going to do um, uh, the disadvantage. Um, all attacks targeting you gain disadvantage this round. Okay. And the top portion is attack three, range three, pierce two. And I'm going to be attacking ooze number two with that. Cool. And he has no shield. Well, he does shield have a shield. one, but your pierce will ignore one. that. So, perfect. Modifier coming up. Times two. Oh yeah. So he's dead. So he is very, very dead. And then you need to shuffle your cards after. And shuffle the cards. Uh, put, go so yeah, take care of those. Put those away real quick, and then I'll show you what to do for your modifier sure. shuffle. Okay. So right over here, pick up this this stack of purple. Pick up the whole stack. Flip it over. Pick it up again, flip it over, and then pick it up, drop it right here. Oh, sorry. There you go. And now shuffle that whole deck. There you go. All done. All right. All right, uh, Ben, your actual turn is up. All right, is that who's over there actually defeated? Is he still standing up? Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Uh, Sako, if you want to click the word that says defeat in the middle of the south bar, yep. then he'll disappear. Just move my, move my card around real quick there. Sure. There you go. So the only one that should still be alive, Ben, uh, Becky's going to go before the uses. So the only one that should still be alive is this guy here, the regular, normal number that eight. That worked out. Yep. It was good, good uh, uh, teamwork and tactical decision making to get them all wiped out. That was sweet. All right. Uh, Orson Welles is going to attack, uh, but he only has an attack of one. So unless he draws a good modifier, he's not going to do any damage, but he's going to attempt to hit the regular ooze number eight here. Sure. Right. Yes. Still one. Take that, you bastard. <laughs> he, also took, he also took a hit for you, too, so. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He's All right. He's useful uh, bacon. And I'm going to use the bottom of the moment's piece for a healing tube just to drop the, well, drop the poison off. Cool. And a move of two, so I'm going to scoot up here. And 
this room cleared out sooner than I thought, so I was going to use the top of multi-pronged assault, which is an attack of four at two different targets, but I'm just going to do a basic attack, so that's a lost card, so I don't want to lose that. Sure. So basic attack on this ooze here with a... Haha, nice. plus one in poison. So two damage still, and poison him. Yeah. Would have been three, but he has a shield, obviously. Go, yep, that's it for me. Cool. All right, Becky, it is your turn. Alrighty. Me. I'm going to move. Hang on. Computer. My, oh, did my oh, God damn it! A keyboard died. Really? You grabbed the plug in. <laughs> oh, like batteries died? Okay. <laughs> Three. We're gonna move up here. We're gonna curse these guys. Um, I don't know. I'll find it in a second. Um, and then I am going... Oh, shit, I can't even zoom in now. <laughs> yeah, you have to try to offer it with only a mouse. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just consume both of them to kill an elite and gain an experience. Cool. Finally get to use my new card. Is that, is that your new one? Swallowed by Fate? Yeah, level yeah it's my brand new one. Oh, yeah. That's I wasn't right. sure. The old one couldn't do it. I, yeah, I wasn't sure I'd ever get to use it because it consumes two different elements and yeah. I only ever bring up darkness. Yeah. Did you. <laughs> so that is. You were intending to buy. Did you. I guess. Oh, okay. You haven't bought the mana potion that you were looking for yet? Is that why yeah, you're trying no, to get I, it? I only had. Yeah, I only have 20 gold on me right now, so. <laughs> well, this mission rewards 10. And I think it was 30, so after we finish this one, even if you didn't loot any coins, you should still have enough, I think. I think it was 30, if I remember right. All right. Uh, that's it for your turn then, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, Fox, your turn. Okay. Um, there's still one up, yes? So yep. Is that, that okay. normal there? All right, so I'm going to attack uh, one range four, loot one. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Drawing the attack modifier plus two and curse. Nice. Oh, yeah. About as lucky as you can get there, because that'll kill him, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, you... Do you have a thing where you loot if you kill him? I have loot, yeah. <laughs> it's the... No, it's the... Um, the attack itself is attack so one, range four, loot that. one. Well, loot one doesn't mean around the target; it means around you. It would it would only mm -hmm. be the that's around you. It's oh, I thought it was by the target. Uh, now that, that it's range four. Yeah, the range four. That's not where the the range four is a is a modifier for the attack, not for the loot. But honestly, I don't care. Go ahead and have it. Doesn't make any difference to me. Um, but yeah, oh, that's okay. that's not how the card reads. Okay, I've been reading it wrong the whole time. Yeah, not a big deal anyways. Okay, and then I'm I giving figured you actually had a song yeah, that, that if you kill something, you automatically lose it, because it sounds like no. a very Fox thing. Uh, strength and all affects all allies? Cool. Yep. Even Orson? So, yep, every ally gets strengthened. Next round. What do you think? All right. Okay. The oozes would get to go, but they're all dead, so... Oh, that means I haven't I haven't got to use any of my Overwatch yet either. So in the next room, we get some free shots against all the assholes in there. I I kind of thought they were all going to move, and there were five of them, so I kind of expected it to you know use all of them to soften up that whole room, but didn't even end up needing it. So, um, all right. So we probably want to try to heal up a little bit before we open the next room, especially if those those eye guys uh, fire you know long beams like what Fox was describing. Because that means they're going to be long range, basically. As soon as we open the door, they're they're going to be able to start hitting us, probably. Um, anybody have good like group heals at all? Because we need to, we nope. need a small group heal to get the poison. Not off anymore. Of. Yeah. I have a potion that can heal someone a little bit close by. Well, that's only yourself, unless it's a potion that that. It's a scroll oh, that's of a healing. Scroll. Yeah, yeah. The potions yeah. are self only, but yeah, a scroll would work. Um, I could after this turn, I could put next turn, I could put up a song that heals everybody else. Um, uh, one at the start of every round. You can't play that this turn to get the poison off. Mm, 
No, because it would negate the extra movement song. Okay. All right. Um, I have... Oh, no, that's recovery. Not for recovering cards, not for heals. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm okay. I can take care of myself there, but if nobody has, like, a small group heal or anything anymore, um, like, I, I had them on Banner Spear for getting rid of poisons and stuff like that, but uh, that's going to make it a little tougher for... Oh, let me end the round here. Um, so you, you may have to fend for yourselves there. Ben, I mean, up to you if you want to kind of... I wouldn't say it's waste necessarily, but Orson's going to you know, be sacrificial anyway, so getting poison off of him, probably not a huge idea, uh, you know, a huge deal rather, unless, uh, you know, unless somebody has a group. Uh, but Fox and Sako, you guys might have to get your poisons off of yourself. I don't have anything I can heal you with. Okay, I'll do that next round. Uh, can yeah, we use fine. multiple poisons per? Uh, sorry, multiple potions per turn, or just one potion per turn? Yeah, you can use more than. Yeah, you can use. You can use every item you have if it's you know if it's applicable. Yeah. Yeah. In the same right. turn, there's there's no restrictions for that. Perfect. That's all I need to know. Oh shit! I don't even have a heal potion. I have power and and uh, stamina. Um. This is why I have the heal song. <laughs> Yeah. It's not much, but something. Yeah, that movement is what we need for this mission, though. So, it is unfortunate. That's situation. why I put the movement first, and yeah. then I waited a turn because when I play three songs at once, I have nine cards. That leaves me with very little cards after. Yeah, yeah you're you're out of the game. So, the yeah. Well, I have a lot of like potions to get back to stay in the game, but like, yeah. Yeah. Is the point of the mission for? The chest to be looted, or do we all have to be alive when it's looted, or matter. what's the yeah. actual objective? Yeah, even as long if it's looted. Yeah, as even long as everyone else is dead. Yep. Because yeah. uh, I, I can do. I have that curious gear to disarm traps, so I can pop the traps within a range two, around me. And I also have. I don't know if it would work this way, but that ring of haste. Does that mean I get to do the full action on the bottom of the card, or is that just a basic action on the bottom of the card? Uh, Twice. Let's see, I think it's the, the the regular card, like the regular bottom action. Uh, and immediately before the bottom action of the card, yeah, it's not basic. It's it's the like the full normal, you know, usage of the bottom action on a card. I had you. I have a couple of movement five cards. I could double that, move ten. I have jet boots for jump, and then I could disarm the traps up there. So if I need to, if shit gets hairy, I can just run for it. So that's probably our best bet. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I mean, if you get even like a few steps through the door, it's it's like 12, it's 11 to 12 to get to the chest uh, with jump. Um, so, I mean, if that's the case, we can just break down the door, jump inside, uh, you know, everybody can, you know, try to kill something if you want, but or, you know, achieve a battle goal or whatever else. Um, but if you can do that all in one turn, G, then you only need to get like three steps into the door and then you can jump the entire way to the chest. You will need to survive through that whole round and long enough into the following round to actually play a loot card because it doesn't work for end of turn looting you have to actually use a card that has a loot action on it so you know what i mean like you'd have to you'd have to survive that whole round and then on the next round play a card with a loot action on it and survive long enough for that loot action to go off okay i do have one that's like a it's on my discard pile. It is a loot card, though. I could use my stamina potion to bring that back up if I needed to. Okay. So. Yeah, you, you definitely need it if you're going to do that. But okay. 10, if you, I mean, if you can reliably move 10, you only need to get like three, two or three steps through the door. And then with the jump, you'd be able to jump over all of the, the water that's in the way and the rocks, and you would just land straight on the chest. So we could, we could potentially finish this the round after next if you're able to move enough in through the doorway. Which just means okay. then, then it doesn't really matter if we, you know, need we wouldn't really need heals. I guess is what I'm saying. It wouldn't be a, too big of a deal. Are we resting this round? Because I can just do like a short rest and not hopefully get that loot card back. And if not, I'll use my stamina potion. Uh, I'd say it's probably a good idea if you guys want to gather around the door. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna land where my favorite is so that I can get that back. So I'll be in front of the door. Um, and then you know, long rest at least. If, I mean, if nothing else, you guys can long rest to get the uh, the poison off. Uh, well, Orson can't, obviously, but uh, okay. Fox and Sako can if you guys need to. If you don't have something else this, to heal one to get the poison off. But this isn't like the other game, right? Like, we can split our movement, like, move 
do the top half of the card and then use the rest of our movement to move away? No. Well, no? are you saying like D&D is what you're saying? Like D&D, you can split it, yes. Like that's that's fine. No, obviously. I meant, I was trying to remember the name of the other game. Maybe Hero Quest? Before this one. Hero Quest? Yes. Yeah, uh, no. Hero Quest, like you just have, you know, you would roll dice and you'd have, you could split the movement up however you want. This one, you have to perform the actions on the cards in the order that they're listed. So mm -hmm. if it's a move three, okay. you don't have to move the full three, but you can't move two and then do an attack and then move the other one. It doesn't work that way. You would have to move somewhere between one and three, or zero and three, I guess, and then perform the attack or whatever. So unless your other card <laughs> also had movement, it wouldn't work like that. Nope, I was just going to land here, loot some stuff, and move over. <laughs> nope, not for that. Um, all right, I'm going to go get my favorite back. Does anybody need an element? Because I can, mm -hmm. I can play a card to put up wind. Or I can just do a regular move, so... Nobody needs one. Uh, actually, that's probably... Oh, shit, I need that for my battle goal. So I will do... Yeah, I'll, I'll save that one. So if anybody needs an element next turn, I can do it then. And I won't play it this turn, just so I don't waste it. Okay, because we're, we're not... Are we opening the door this round or no? Um, Ben, how, how far... Like, can you... I guess, do, do you can you get far enough into the room this turn if you open the door, or... Do you want to wait and then just try to do the big, you know, basically how, I, the, the idea is how, how short of turns, how few of turns can you get through, you know, three, two to three spaces on the other side of the door and then play your big jump? How do we need to arrange that? I think I have another, let me double check another card that's movement of five as well, too. So I could just do that to get inside the door or roughly to the door, you know. Uh, and then use my other card uh, an that has a five one to double that for the run. So you have plus absolute... one movement right now too from the song. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. For every move it's action. So if you're doing multiple move actions, it would be on each one. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. In an absolute pinch, if necessary, as a backup plan, I can use paralyzing bite when we're in the other room, which is a movement of six with jump. And if needed, I can even add jet boots to that and add even more moves. So I can move seven and jump. Um, so if we really need to move fast for some reason, that's a hail mary right there. Well, if if Ben's you know big jump here works, then we don't really need to do much else. All we would need to do is kind of get through the door and run interference, and then he could jump to the far end of the room with using his the uh, ring basically so that he can double. Uh, he, he would actually end up with oh shit! Actually, Ben, because of the song, your move five if you play that twice is a move of twelve total. So that okay, means you only, each you basically, movement action. Yeah, yeah well, it, it adds to each movement action from Fox's song. Right. Um, so it's a move of five plus one, and then another move of five plus one, plus your boots is another plus one. Oh. So you actually have a move of 13, which means as soon as you get through the door, if you basically if you can get on the other side, or inside of the door is probably enough even, uh, to jump the full distance. Then we should be good because this round coming up right now, I can do a move of six because it would be the plus one from Fox's song. So that should get me inside the door. And then um, the round after that, I can do the super dash. So Well, it's, it's 10 from the door. So if you were, if you were like on this side of the door, you could make it all in the same turn. So if you can make it to here, like to, you know, either of these coins, I'm going to, I'm going to grab my favorite, but even that doesn't really matter because the turn's going to, the mission's going to end. Uh, so yeah, so, that'd be no problem. So if you okay, move, so you know, if you move yeah, three, within two rounds, we can do this. Yeah. Okay. For sure. All right. So move three so. this turn. Uh, Fox and Sokka, if you guys want to long rest to get the poison off, you can. Um, but you know, what Ben should uh, not this turn, but the following turn, we can knock the door down and end the mission on the same. T well, end the mission on the first part of the following turn, I guess is how that would be. So. I'm gonna move here. Is that gonna get in anybody's way? Where's here? Over here. Nope. I'm going here. I'm going to go to the right of that one. So just know where you here. are. Okay. okay. Fox, are you moving or are you resting? Uh, uh, I'm going to be... Uh, I guess I could move. You, this mission is going to end so fast you probably don't need to. If you need a long rest to get the poison off, you can, but... No, I, mean, I have an item. I have my amulet of life that uh, that lets me uh, just heal one, and then when I get it back on rest, so I'm fine. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, if everybody just wants to try to 
uh, you know, finish your battle goals real quick. This should be, it won't, it, it won't end this round, uh, but next round Ben should be landed on the chest, and then the round after that he can loot it. So it, it'll end early, and basically we have two rounds left. This one and then one, uh, well sorry, this one and then two more, so it should be pretty quick. Ben, do you have your cards up? Alright, I'm good. You'll need a, a move three this turn, technically. Yeah, so I could even just do a basic action for that with the plus one. Yep. So. This will end up, you know, finishing this mission a lot sooner than initially planned, so we will have plenty of time to start another mission afterwards. Who's that guy, and then hmm, what else should we burn? You know what, I get experience, so I'm going to bring in Gregory Pick. We're going to ditch him, but I'll still get experience for summoning him. Sure. So I'll be moving up to that square in this round, and then on the next round I'll be running through. All right, so. All right starting the round. Uh, I am at 24, so uh, Fox, you're first, then I'm after you. Okay, I'm using my Amulet of Life to heal for one point. Alright. Um... Oh. oh, right, you clicked. I guess that's gone. Um, I'm gonna give everybody around me shield. Woohoo. Is it just range one? Uh, all just allies range, within range no three get shield. Four. Awesome. So Ben, you get one too. And Fox and, or sorry, and Becky and Orson. Sako, you got it too. Thank you. Okay, Turn and then this off here. I am playing a song to allow me to add uh, a different song. So I'll be able to have two songs, Oops. and then I'm moving here with my loot. All right. All right, then my turn. I am uh, just moving three. Uh, it would have a, a push and a mobilize, but obviously there's nobody there to do that. So landing on my favorite there and a coin. And then the top of follow through is just a, a tossing. Uh, Becky, your turn. Me? Oh, I can leave my favorite over there. Oh shit, I picked the wrong fucking card. God damn it. <laughs> is it gonna break things? No. I was just gonna move over here and use my loot. Oh, because I have a move coin? on a top card. Yeah. yeah. To grab my other one. Well, hang on, hang on. Uh, that still has loot and put up darkness. Oh, you would, you just wouldn't have the move then if you did that. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, my okay. my other card has a move on top. On the top action, gotcha. Yeah. It was still a super late card. In. Sure. And it was just going to be that, and then it's, it's an attack, and there's nothing to attacks. All right, Sako, mm -hmm. your turn. Okay, moving cards up. Okay, I'm going to use the bottom of Biting Nets to move four. One, two, three, four. Someone took my coins. Yep, they stole it. All right. And then uh, I'm just going to uh, ignore the top portion of the accelerated end. All right. Uh, however, I will use my potion of major stamina and recover three cards now part of those three cards does that involve these two cards as well yeah they'll did they go on your discard now so you could use it you know after basically to uh to recover those if you want to you technically you would go. be using it uh, by the rules officially you'd be using it at the very start of your next turn but you may as well do it between the turns it doesn't really matter so Copy that's fine that so my three cards will be one two and three. These three cards. And this potion is now used. All right. And Ben, your turn. All righty.
First thing, Orson Welles is going to move up one. And then I'm going to summon Gregory Peck. And then I am going to be moving. It has up. to be next to you. Okay. It'd have to be one of the hexes next to you. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. And then I am going to be moving up here. Okay. Yeah. That will be it for this turn. There you go. I just clicked the thing to loot the coin for you, so it's on your on your uh, character mat there. All right. Uh, ending yeah. the round. All right. So um, if you look at the map here, G, come over to the left here. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve would get from where you're standing right now. You could open the door and move twelve and land on the chest. Um, okay. which is if you, you know, your boots, you're going to have to use the boots because you need to jump anyway, right? Uh, yeah, and I'm going to use the boots too just to have that extra movement because it's all going for broke out give shit. Well, you, you can go a straight shot. Because of the jump, you can jump over all the enemies and the water in the way. So you're standing right okay. now, like way over here, basically. You see the first room? You're standing right outside on the, you know, the other side of the door. So on your turn, whenever that happens, if the door's already open or not, it doesn't matter. You can do it, you know, at any time during the round, it doesn't really make any difference uh, because you're jumping. It doesn't matter if the enemies try to block the distance or not anyway. So you could literally just, you know, go straight line from the door straight up to the chest and land on the chest. All that matters is that you have to survive the entire remainder of you know, the whole round. So if you if you can, you want to try to go late. Uh, so whichever one of those two cards that you're going to play, okay. whichever one has a later turn so that you're not up there being attacked by all of those enemies for the whole round. Ideally, you, you know, ideally you want them to go first and then you jump and that way you land there. They don't get to attack you because um, you're going to be kind of surrounded up there. Um, and then on the turn after this one, you'll need to try to play a loot card as early as possible so that you loot the chest before you could get attacked by them. Does that make sense? Okay, it's not possible for me to loot the chest on this round. It has to be the next round. No, you. I mean, if you have a top action loot, because you said the bottom action is the move five, right? Uh-huh, I have a top action loot, too. Oh, I can shit. Scoop that bitch up. <laughs> and that's the fourth quarter uh, round, or card, so okay. probably about prepared. So. All right, well, in that case, then, guys, this is the last round for this mission. Um, so if you have anything you need to play to get a battle goal finished, now's the time. Get some experience here. Yeah, experience, battle goals, or whatever. I didn't realize you had a top action loot, G. I thought it was a bottom action. Um, hmm. In that case, I'm going to kill one of the lurkers as soon as we get through the door um I'll, I'll fire whichever one i can reach probably uh fox is the range and move song gonna stay up i assume it is right yeah that's gonna stay up okay um i can kill the one that's directly to the left well you know i mean nobody has to like it doesn't matter if they die or not i just need it for a battle goal so i'll kill the one that's probably on the right actually and maybe the elite um I have to I have to make a big attack, but I should be able to kill either one of them on my own just fine. Um, so anybody, as far as battle goals, if somebody needs you know to kill something for a battle goal, you know we we can discuss now. I need to kill mm -hmm. one for a battle goal, but I could probably take the elite out potentially. I don't know how much health they have, uh, but if not him, I can hit the one on the right because he's further away. In that uh, case, I kind of need something else for the battle goal. Is it something we can help you with? Probably, if somebody else would like to rest. <laughs> All right. Like short so, rest? Yeah, or you're going to need to be a lot more specific either. there. <laughs> short rest or long rest doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, remember, battle goals, you don't have to keep them quiet. You can tell. You can share what it is. It's fine. Oh, you can? Well, I mean, it, it's it, it's a tabletop. I mean, you're I allowed to. I don't need it, but I'll short rest. Or, okay. I could do if I needed to. I'm going to hurt another I can't. I, I yeah. have to because this is the only time. You can't, G. You can't. Oh, no, I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, short yeah, rest, no, though, no. is just. Short rest? Does that count, too? Does that yeah, count? Okay, like... okay. I thought the one you were talking about was the long rest one. Okay. Okay. No, this one is um, just. Here, want me to read it out loud? Sure. Oh, I can't get it to zoom in. Okay. Take a rest only on rounds in which an ally is also taking a long or short rest. Well, hang on. So if you never rested, that would still be fine. If you oh. had zero, if you had zero rests, it's still you. You didn't take any rests on a turn when when somebody else didn't. So if you just take a zero rest, you'd still be fine. 
Oh, um, okay. Yeah. But I mean, if, if you if you want to take one, you know, if you need one for cards or whatever, then then obviously. No, I don't really need one for cards, so we should be fine. Okay. Okay. I didn't know if if no rests counted or not. Yeah, I mean, if it's zero, you still did not take a rest in a turn when someone else, you know, wasn't resting. So wasn't you gotcha. Fine. Okay. Yeah. So by the um, you know, the legal ease of it. How late are we going? Does it matter how late we're going? Uh, I mean, it kind of doesn't. Ben is. It doesn't matter if the door is open or not by that time. So I'm gonna try to go early and just shoot that guy just to be, you know, to get my battle goal done. Um, so Ben is gonna go late, but it doesn't really matter because he's gonna jump over the enemies anyway. So we won't be, you know, getting in his way if you need to go earlier. It doesn't really make any difference. All right, I'm just hating shit for experience because there's no way I'm getting my battle goal. So okay, uh, Sako, how about you? I'm good to go. I'm going to pretty much just play a couple things to get some experience points and uh, just maximize that as best as possible. Okay. Alright. Alright. Um, I did not put my cards up yet. Sorry. Give me one sec here. It is... Oh, shit. Uh, my big hit is both those. I wouldn't have movement. I don't think I can pull mine off. Uh, maybe. I might still be able to. That'd be a little awkward, but I might be able to pull it off. All right, I uh, got mine. Everybody got cards up? Yep. All right, mm -hmm. starting the round. All right, I am at. Why did it not put a initiative? Oh, I had it. Okay, never mind. All right, I'm at initiative fifty-one. Uh, so, Fox, you are first. Okay. So I'm playing the song that um, lets everybody heal on uh, when they first start. Heal one at the start of turns? Yes. Cool. Thank you. You can, I open, can open the door. You, you can if you want. It's, it, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, and I land right in the door. Okay. Um, do you see all the enemies loading, Fox? Because sometimes you yeah, don't see them. it's just laggy. Yeah, it's just taking a second to finish. Okay, it just finished for me at least. But uh, well, I, I mean, I guess if you're not attacking them, it doesn't matter too much. But I'll go, I'll go through it and pick them up just in case, just to make sure. Yeah, you I'm see them not all. attacking them, but that's it. Okay. All right. Uh, How did summer. I end up here? Did she move you on accident? That's fine. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, Sokka, you're next. Cool little uh, art 3D assets they made for those. I went through and picked them all up, so, so Becky, you should, or uh, Fox, you should be able to see them. What you doing, Sokka? All right, pulling up here, flip the cards. I'm just going to make a run for it here. Uh, bu -bu 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 attacks done. Uh, so I will, bottom of Paralyzing Bite, I will move six. Uh, with jump and it adds wind uh, for one experience point. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm just gonna plop right here. No big deal. Since we're about to, this is like the last round, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go right here. Uh, so I add wind really quick. Hold on a second here. Plus wind. Boom. And plus one experience. Boom. And then I'll use the top of blistering vortex against the lurker number five for an attack of three range three with wind gives me two experience points nice. so i'm going to use that wind consume one two and attack modifier stun let's go ahead and stun him not that it really matters i think uh what's the stun icon look like it's the dark blue with a little star of damage like the damage icon there it goes. Yep. Perfect. And roll again. Negative one, which is booty. So just two, but he has one shield. And so only one damage. All right. That's it. All right. And I burnt both those cards. Uh, Fox, or Becky, your turn. And Ben, those deep terrors are going to attack before you make it up there. So you should be okay. You're not going to get killed right after you loot or anything. It would still be over anyways, but... So I'm going to use... The bottom of the sphere of the night. 
or uh, if I use my boots, which give me jump and a plus one, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, I could get here, right? Yeah. So <laughs> if you if you're jumping, you ignore that those are hazardous or difficult terrain. So, Sweet. so yeah, I'll just hit this guy, I guess. All right. All right. So I'm going to use my cloak, so I will be invisible, so I will get my extra stuff. Make that attack four for group assessments. Four. Cool. Yep. And I will re invisible myself. <laughs> four, five. Five minus uh, two from shield. shield. Yep, so three okay. damage. And that's my turn. Alright. Uh, lurkers are up next. This is only the second time enemies have gotten to act because the ooze has only had one round uh, and I ran them. So, Ben, uh, if you want to run their lurker attack there. Is... Did I need to tap my terror card ahead of time, or is that just a natural thing that holds? Well, what card are we talking about? Uh, Shattered Terror. Or... Uh, that, that, was only, terror. that was only for that one round. So. Oh, that's not a tappable card? No. Oh, that's, that that. Yeah, that's, that was that turn that you played it is when it when it ended. Um, at the end of that round. Uh, Move then... plus heroes because I'm not moving at all. They are doing if so. If ice was up, they would strengthen themselves, which it's not up. So they're going to move plus okay. a zero. So whatever that whatever it says on their token, they're going to move that amount, and they're going to do attack minus one that also wounds. All right. Start with number one up here. Move three. All right. So he's going to come this way. Uh, uh, do they? they yeah, uh, they have still hit hazardous terrain too. Yeah. Okay. So he can only so move one. Two. Right the and then three. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Three would be the yeah. Okay, so it's three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he is going to do the same thing. But he can't get that far, so he'd have to end here. Okay. Would he go here, or would he go into the water? He wouldn't be able to make it into the water. Oh, sorry. He has yeah. He has move three. He wouldn't be able to make it into the water. Because it'd be, you see what I'm saying? It'd be one. It's two, actually to go into it or out of it. It's actually to get into, into it. it right? Yeah, to get into it. Okay. Exactly. It's only one to go yeah. out. So I would have right. needed so, four movement to get into it. He's going there. Uh, and then this guy. Well, he's he's kind of oh, uh, hang on. She's invisible. So he. Uh, yep. Oh, so yeah, okay. But okay. So he doesn't focus you, right? He can't focus. Yep, and you. I act as an object, so he can't go through me. Yeah, <laughs> so he's, he's going to go south for Fox then, is what he's going to try to do. Okay. But it's so going to be one, two, and one, then three. He won't be able to one. get to her. Yeah. All but, right. Yep. So he's going to land there. Regular six. Five. Okay. So two is going to go. Also move three. Right. Okay. So one. Two, yeah, he'll be three. able to get to Fox. And his attack is going to be minus one. So an attack of two with wound at Fox. Oh, sorry. Hang on. That was mine. I need to. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it accidentally mine. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm gonna put that okay. back because you you didn't actually you didn't actually get that. So I put it back oh, yeah. in your deck yeah. and shuffled it in. Let's try this again. So that it's right, Fox. Ah, it's so better, but at least it wasn't double though. <laughs> uh, she has shield one. Though. Oh no, she doesn't. Never mind. She can't shield herself from the song. Oh. Right, Fox. Or okay. Uh, yeah. It says all allies, but I apparently don't count as my own ally. Yeah. It does for banner spear, but not for regular rules right. unless the class specifies otherwise. He is going to move in on Sako. Oh, he's stunned. Oh, he is not going to move in on Sako. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is a an object right here, right? Right to the south of him. Nope, that's open space. Oh, okay. Then he is going to walk this way. One, two, and three. I think that's it for them, right? Yeah, I think so. Yep, that's all of okay. them. Okay. All right, uh, Deep Terrors are up next. Uh, Becky? Uh, actually, I don't think they're going to be able to do anything because they're not moving, and their attack is all... Oh, well, they do have ranged attacks. Adjacent? Yeah, so they... Well, adjacent part, none of them, nobody's adjacent to any of them, so you can ignore the whole first section. The second they one... They don't have range. Yeah, they do. This attack is a range three. Part two. Oh. Part of the attack. Okay. Yeah, the attack I was looking on their range. thing. I'm like, they don't have range. Yeah, yeah the attack itself is the I-beam thing that Fox was talking about, but this is uh, uh. all... All enemies in range three, not just uh, well, up to two targets within range three of a full circle around them. But I don't think anybody's that close to them, anyways, right? Uh, range three? No. 
Yep. Nobody's right. close enough. Yeah, these even the so two in the middle nothing. here. Yeah, so nothing <laughs> from them. Oh, I skipped my turn. I was at 51. Um, so, yeah, nothing from them. I'll, I'll go ahead. It doesn't make any difference right now anyways, but uh, uh, since they didn't block the door. And actually, I can throw it to him anyway, so that'll that's actually works better for me. Um, he would have, actually, the lurkers would have gone anyway, so that's fine. Because the lurkers were at 41, and I'm going at 51, so that lurker would actually still be here uh, for my turn anyway, so... Uh, bottom of Disorienting Barrage, which is a loss card. It is uh, move two. All adjacent enemies suffer one damage. So I'm going to jump through Fox here. One, two, to there. He's uh, Both of these suffer one damage. And it's not a, a shield. It's not an attack. It's just a suffer damage, so they both suffer it. Uh, then move one. All adjacent enemies suffer uh, two damage. And I'm going to use my boots for that so that I can make it over the water here. Uh, so to here. And then they both suffer one again. Um, and then the last part is just another move one, uh, and then a loss. So I will move to there. Uh, loss card, I get one experience for that. Um, oh shit, no, I'm going to go to this hex instead of the, that one. And then I'm going to use the top of Fearsome Efficiency for an attack of six. Also throwing my favorite again to make it an attack of nine. And use my power potion to make an attack of ten. Uh, to throw one big axe at this guy right here, uh, Lurker 2. Uh, this also puts up wind in case it, well, I guess it won't matter, but if anybody does end up needing it. So attack of 10 at uh, Lurker 2 plus 0 is 10 damage. Uh, he had one shield, but that makes it 9. He only had 8 hit points, so he dies. And that will get my battle goal taken care of. I actually didn't need to kill him. I was thinking I did. I just needed to play two lost cards. Uh, battle goal done. That's it for my turn. Uh, ben, your turn. All right. I'm going to start with the heal from Fox the Song. Oh, I forgot to heal myself from the Oh, stuff. and I had I had advantage on that too from the strength, and I forgot, but doesn't matter. And then I'm going to move the pets. Not that it matters, but they're going to move in anyway. So I'm going to go there. Gregory Peck also three, right? Flying speed, yep. Two. Well, he can't make it, so he's going to go there. And I... Going to use the bottom of Flight of Flame for a movement of five with jump already on it, but I'm going to also use my jet boots so it has an extra movement and another jump just in case I need it. And then I'm going to use my ring of haste to double that action. So altogether it would be including the boots and from Box of Song, a movement of 13 with yep. jump on the entire thing. Madness. This is all I'm base ready. game too. Like this, this, this is all of these, these parts that Ben is using right now are all from the original Gloomhaven box. This isn't like overpower things that come from expansions and stuff. Like this is all in the base game. So that's, you know, he, he, he is doing a, a purely legitimate move for this mission, I guess is how I'm saying that. Um, that one I don't think has an actual treasure associated G as that's what that, that's what that letter was for. Um, okay. So that's, there's not, you know, loot from it except for the quest item thing, so. And the top of moments piece is a loot in a range of one. And I will do that to grab the chest. All right. And that is the end of the mission. So uh, that is it. Uh, conclusion says, I'll, I'll read it out here. That's the fastest we've ever done that. Yeah. Wow. Wait, how really is he getting him, like, so much movement? Because he's moved five, six, seven. Well, hang on. So here, I'll, I'll put his cards up real quick and I'll show you. So, Thank you. Uh, uh, I, I use my items too. Yeah. So, so. so using the bottom of Flight of Flame is a move of five with jump. Then, yes. uh, then he has a ring here uh, that is called, if you come over to his items, he has a ring of haste here that says, at the end of your turn, play one card from your hand and immediately perform the bottom action of the card. So he's replaying that bottom action of move five again. But your... that card's not in his hand. It's already played. Hmm. Yeah, but you have another move five card in oh, your I hand, do. right? Oh, I do. I do. Actually, yes. Okay, there you oh, go. Okay, that's, that's a good point. Of Fox, I didn't that, think yeah, about that. that is a good point. Yeah, I was thinking it was you know his his in your hand, not in your ready card, huh? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, mm -hmm. I also yeah, have yeah, Swift Retreat here. Okay, and then he has the plus one five. from my movement. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, but, now it makes sense. Yeah, but he also because of your song, Fox, he has plus 
plus one movement for each Yeah, that's why I said the song. Yeah, and then so, the boots. And then the boots makes it move 13. So we only actually needed yeah. 12, but, but 13 to just go a straight line all the way from the door, all the way up to the chest there. And then the top action of the other card is a loot is action. Is the loot, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that understood. It's the movement I didn't understand. Yeah. Now that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was a ridiculous amount of movement all at once. So, um, Which, you know, essentially bypasses this entire room as far as having to kill all these guys. And these guys are, you know, like endgame type enemies that we wouldn't, like we haven't fought these, these types of enemies before. So it, this was supposed to be, you know, a bit of a slog trying to fight through all the water and these endgame enemies to get through it. So, uh, but that's it. That's the end of, the, of this mission here. Uh, it is, the, the conclusion text here is, uh, you grab hold of the scepter and the entire building shudders violently. A dark energy bursts forth, piercing through the chests of the monsters still attacking you. They all fall over dead and shuddering, and the shuddering stops. As you get back to your feet, however, a sharp pain suddenly pierces your skull. You have been misled, the voice speaks into your mind. Do not bring that scepter to me. If you free me, I guarantee no harm will come to you. But I cannot say the same if you approach with the scepter. Whatever you think you're doing, you are wrong. As you quick, or as quickly as it came, the pain stops. You tighten your grip on the scepter and race out of the shrine, eager to bring it to the echo chamber and silence the voice. So that uh, unlocks mission number 42, which is one of the two forks. Remember, so, so this is the, the second part, I guess, of, of the fork where we disobey the voice. Um, or we can, you know, go back and help him. Um, I think, though, if we do the next mission, I'm, well, I, I, I can look ahead without spoiling things, maybe, uh, for everybody. Um, to at least see what 42 does, but 42 might cut off being able to go back and help him, is what I'm saying. Um, so let me check that. Everybody gets 10 gold. So go ahead and add that to your sheets, uh, and then we'll end the mission and everything here. Um, I, uh, there were enemies that moved, and I forgot to use my Overwatch on them. Not that it matters, but... Uh, the lurkers moved up, so I would have gotten some experience for that technically, but it was probably only one or two anyway, so not a big deal. Okay, so three EXP, bringing me to 347. Uh, 345 was the trigger, though, so I still got the level. Making me level seven now on my hatchet. Uh, ben, here are your cards if you want to put those... Here, I'll drop them on your character thingy so you can put them away there. Thank you. Grab that. Get my cards. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the mission here. Let me pull my guy off. Your guys should automatically get reset. Uh, I got one coin. Uh, coin conversion is four, so it'll be four gold. I can just delete that. So I'm at 25. All right. I think everything else that's on the board should automatically reset. Yeah, everything should be good over there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and delete the board real quick. Scenario one. There we go. That'll tab up everybody's EXP and gold. And delete monsters. And we'll need to do events and everything before we start another mission anyways. Uh, and Becky, do you want to see the shop, I assume? Yes. Yes, I do. There you go. Oh, by the way, the battle goal I did not get was be the first player to become exhausted. <laughs> in a mission that was over in like three rounds or four rounds or whatever? Yep. We could have, though. That first, no room was, that first room was potentially pretty dangerous if we hadn't just give them all so fast. All right. Uh, I'll need to do my level seven. I put my items back. All right. Um, here are my cards. Let's look at what the. Uh, what 42 is so th th we finished that mission you know got the scepter the quattro in the town said that if we bring that scepter to him it'll you know it'll kill him or whatever who knows uh, but our, our choices basically are we either go through with trying to you know disobey him basically the voice um, and potentially kill him that might lock off the branch of being able to actually you know see the dragon i'm not sure that might even be the fight with the dragon for all i know um, or we can turn around and do the other fork 
So without spoiling it for you guys, I'll go look at what 42 is. He's not freed, but we did do the scepter in the voice. All right, yeah, so, so that's correct. I thought this was supposed to be the dragon. Maybe the dragon is one of the other side missions, like the other fork of the side mission, because this sounds like it's supposed to be a bigger thing. Um, this one's a pretty big boss fight, uh, basically. It's a we have to we have to kill like six mini bosses, basically. Uh, but they while they're each of those okay so there's basically six mini bosses that have a huge buff that applies to all the other enemies while they're alive and as we kill them those those buffs drop off of all the other other enemies um there is another one of those like stone glyph things that i think fox has don't you have that fox the like the scripted text thing yeah i have one okay so there's there's a stone tablet covered in foreign glyphs that look like it's the same thing uh, i thought that was for the harrowers but maybe that's different um I think, though, if we do... Hang on, let me look at what the other ones are, if that precludes us from doing the others. Is it four? No. Uh, if we do 42, the other one would be 32 or 25. Come on. All right, 32. It doesn't, neither one of these, like, mark anything about it locking us out of doing the other mission, but I don't see how it, like, couldn't. Story-wise, I don't see how it couldn't, but it doesn't say anything. It doesn't, it doesn't say that, that, you know, if we do the one to, you know, to kill those six mini-boss things. Yeah, they aren't mutually <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> I mean, by by the narrative, they definitely should be. You'll see what I mean when we, you know, if we do this one. But it doesn't say that it locks it out, so I, I don't see any reason we couldn't still play it anyways, uh, if we want to. So we can just continue on this fork, I say, and we go through and you know do the mini boss fights. Plus, you know that that one seems like it'd be fun. It'll be a hard mission. We'll probably have to, you know, like it'll probably be the rest of today, and then you know next time we play, finish at that time, because uh, it's probably going to be a bigger fight. But it looks like it'd be fun anyways. It'll be a complicated, you know, hard boss fight. So, anybody have it, like anything else for personal missions that they want to wrap up? Like go do something, you know, do a different side mission or something instead. As long as I could kill something with a status effect on it in the next one, I'll be happy. Did you get that this time with the oozes? Uh, actually, yeah, it had poison. They had poison, yeah. So, all the guys on the left did. I'm uh, fine with whatever. I've got my eternal wonder to do. Yours is 15 different. Yeah, so you, uh, did you take that up, Sako, for the mission we just did? Just now, yeah. Okay. All right. How about Becky? I'm good. All right. So, uh, and what's yours, Ben? Oh. Uh, uh, I didn't quite get mine. It was uh, to use no potions during your. No, 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 no. Not your sure. battle goal. Your, your, oh, your sorry. mission. No, your your personal quest. Didn't you kill two of the, the guys when you did the attack or no? Yeah, yeah. actually, I did. You're yeah. right. So you, you can increment that still, too. Yeah. Um, speaking of battle goal, I forgot to mark mine off for the check mark I got on mine. Uh, did you guys already add your check marks for battle goals? Yep. All right. Yeah, because this is the we were just in the Copper Neck Mountains, right? Yep. We did a Copper Neck Mountain mission. Um, the, oh no, sorry, we were actually in the ocean. We were in the Misty Sea, so you get to mark that one off too. Oh, then I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that was why we chose that one, if I remember right, uh, because mm -hmm. it, because not only was it a side fork, you know, that we wanted to do anyways, but it was also one that would uh, give Becky a, a tick. Um, the next one, Becky, for if we do 42, which is the you know, the next side mission that would finish this fork, is up in the Copperneck Mountains. Uh, I already have the Copperneck, so... You do? Okay. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Wait, why do... Oh, no, because we haven't done that one yet. Okay, it's unlocked. Uh, we just, I just hadn't hit the sticker to unlock the mission. All right. All right, so you won't get that one, but there are, you know, enemies for... Uh, foxes and Ben's and Sockos. 
side missions. No, we're good. I like this character. I don't want to retire her just yet. Yeah, that's that's it too. Is it like you know, kind of? I don't want to rush through it either. The one that I'm unlocking, my personal quest thing, I think will be really fun, but I don't think will be a good one for a party. I think it'd be a fun one to play, uh, potentially solo. It's like a werewolf type of of character. Um, it looks like it'd be really fun, but I don't think it'll be you know good for for party composition. Uh, so I, I, I'm not in a hurry to retire my guy either. Uh, I will say, though, uh, Fox, to the um, a bunch of the uh, Frosthaven characters are released, and like the, the build for Frosthaven is like in process right now. Uh, okay. so, so we could, before, you know, basically once we finish this, I think Frosthaven will be ready um, for us to be able to, you know, start that one from scratch, you know, as, as a new team and everything. Um, so that should be fun when we get around to that. Oh, okay. All right, so... Uh, if uh, Becky, did you do your shopping for your potion or whatever? Yeah, I already got it. Okay. My gold. Okay. Uh, anybody else need to look at the shop? No. I'm no, good. no. All right. I'll put those away. I'm broke. I just got enough to donate to the church, and that's it. Yeah, I've got. I don't even have that left. <laughs> I I probably could, but I I have all the stuff that I care about right now, at least until we get some more prosperity levels for shop items. Um. All right. Then, uh, oh, we got to do events, and then we can start 42. Uh, ben did the last one, so Becky and Fox, it is your guys' turn. Oh, boy. So we, we do, do our city uh, and roads. And... Yeah, exactly, city and road events. So, Becky, uh, here you go. Oh, hang on. We did our battle goals and everything. Did you get your battle goal finished? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to throw mine away here. Yeah. There's got to be. Go. Why are they all so long? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you shuffle till you find a short one to read that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, whoops. Stop flip. Zoom. Okay. You are walking across a silent bridge, heading towards the sleeping line to get a quick meal when you see a. What is this? Quatrel? Quatrel, yeah. The gnomes. Quatrel. Standing in front of a small cart laden with plates of food and curious contraptions. Come try the. Delicacies of the East, the Quattro barks food enhanced with science flavors beyond your wildest imagination. Option A, stop and try the food. Option B, continue on your way to a less adventurous meal. I feel like we did this one before, didn't we? It sounds familiar. Let me see. I'm looking through our. Uh, nope, not that one. It's Creepy Quattro in a white van. Offering us candy? Let's do it for science. A quadril, is this uh, City Event 13? Uh, yep. Okay, yeah. so I'll tell you that when we did this one before, uh, mm. we did, we had this one not, not that long ago, uh, we we chose to try the, the science-y food. Uh, we all started with a bless for the next mission and lost three gold each. So we either, if we, if we want to start the next mission with a bless, it'll cost us three gold. Um, which is cheaper than a donation anyways for a bless, but uh, we can do that or we can see what the other option is to, to continue and not buy the food. I mean, I've only got four gold, so I'm down for a bless for three, <laughs> but that's up to you guys. <laughs> I mean, I could do Doesn't it. Doesn't really matter. The, the mission does look pretty tough, so blesses could be, you know, useful for this one because this is kind of a, you know, a boss fight. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm fine with either. Ben, Taco? I'm good with it. I'm good with either, yeah. I have enough money for a real church bless, but it wouldn't hurt to see what the other option is, too. Yeah, that's the thing, is we haven't seen this one, and it might remove it from the from the deck if we choose it, because this is obviously one that gets returned to the deck if we buy the food. Um, but I kind of do want to go with blesses, I think, so I say we go A, stop and try the food. Sure. All right, cool. then Becky changes state two. For reals this time. <laughs> I'll start scenario with bless and lose three gold each. Yep. All right. So don't forget to add the bless to your to your decks there. There we go. All right. Uh, Fox, your turn. Uh, so it'll be one of these. Shuffle those and pull one off.
Walking a path between a small these, uh, grove and a steep cliff, you suddenly find yourself facing a massive group of felled trees blocking the road. The placement of the tree seems odd, and you have a weary suspicion feeling about the whole situation. Clear the trees from the road. It is the best way through, and will help other travelers or take the time to find a way around the trees. So it's probably like an Enoch's trap or something like that, where mm -hmm. they've, you know, if they're suspiciously laid. Um, so clearing them will probably trigger the trap and then start, you know, with damage or wound or something like that at the start of the, the, the battle, or start of the mission, rather, or we try to walk around them instead. For this one, I'd probably say try to go around because we don't want to try to start. Or B. Yeah, I'd say we go B just to, to avoid them. Ben, Becky? Okay. Cool. I agree. All right, yeah. so uh, state three, Fox. God damn it. <laughs> go, go ahead, Fox. <laughs> you head into the underbrush of the grove to get so around the felled trees, but it is rough going. Is the growth is very dense, and there are quite a few prickly thorns to contend with. All start scenario with two damage. And it goes back to the bottom of the deck. So uh, I'm going to grab it for, for notes first, but that one will be an option we could do later. Well, it, it could reappear later is what I'm saying. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe next time we try to fight him. Uh, the other one, there, there's options on it I, without flipping it over to see what it is. They're blurred out, but there are options, which means it probably requires a specific class to, you know, to not be affected by it. All right, uh, let me do my seven real quick. Uh, seven gets me to 17 hit points. Got time for a break before we start the next game? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take me a second anyway, so go ahead. All right. If everybody wants to take five.
forgot what that was. Okay, I'm back. Yo. Everybody else still gone? I haven't heard anybody else back yet, yeah. Yeah. Where do we... Oh, shit, we start in the room with those? All right, that's... We're going to have to look over how to handle this strategically. Uh, let's see. Destroy all vocal cords. Okay. Can we only hurt them a certain way or something? No. I guess we just have to attack them. The other, the enemies in the other rooms just slowly work towards us because that's... I mean, there's there aren't that many of them. We could kind of cover the doorways or even just move to one side and try to defend ourselves, but I guess we still have to do enough damage to the vocal cords to kill them too. Doesn't look it's just bad ten enough, people. Though. Yeah, it's a total of ten. Yeah, I mean they're they're you know uh, half or so. Yeah, half of them are elites. Um, but the the real things we have to kill are the uh, vocal cord things, the the numbered spots here, because each of those have a debuff that they apply to the whole group. And then there's two treasure chests as well. So four to six would be um, the ones who want to destroy ASAP. Yeah, one damage at the start of every turn, and disadvantage on all attacks, and. Character and summons to minus one from all their attacks, yeah. So probably four. Yeah, that disadvantage is really going to suck. Five and six are kind of equally bad, but probably in that order. Probably four, five, six is what we want. Uh, they're going to have... Oh, actually, we can probably already see it, right? Can we? Yeah, ten. Okay. Oh, we can get so, through this. Yeah, it's only it's 60 total damage we have to throw out. So even if we just ignore the enemies and, and just, you know, throw out 60 damage to the vocal cords, we can be done with this quickly. Wait, what? So this mission here... Where are you floating? That's weird. Because oh, I'm you're trying still to holding decide it. which space <laughs> would be better to land in. Yeah, one of these two, because right I, yeah. Yeah, I can just kill one of these guys outright if I'm right next to him. So okay. which one would be better, two or six? Uh, <laughs> Sako just threw his character across the board. <laughs> um, at this point, I don't think it matters. They're, they're pretty equidistant as far as what we're going to need to do. Uh, we probably do want to get those guys dead as quick as possible, but if you're able to, to you know, instant kill both, uh, one and then, you know, as soon as you... Uh, is that a lost card or no? It's not a lost card. I'm going to have to use my item this time to put up two okay. things, but then I can just outright kill this guy in front of me. If you can take care of both of those becky then and the rest of us can can you know kind of focus all our attention on killing the uh the vocal cords um sure, these things you kill yep yeah, mm -hmm. yeah exactly those numbers one two three four five six we need to kill four five six in that order and then the others don't really well we don't have to but ideally just because of the debuffs that they apply to us um we want to kill those uh you know in that order ideally and then the others can you know wait a little longer but the mission ends as soon as all of them are dead as soon as those vocal cords are dead, we don't have to kill the other enemies. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. So oh, if, you, if you can take care of these guys, the rest of us can focus on burning them down. Um, but that's 60 total damage. It sounds like a lot, but it isn't. You know, we, we've burned through that much quicker before. Um, we will have... It'll what's that? take me two rounds. Yeah. But I can get them both. Yeah, okay. So first round and then second round, or...? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, because I can use my potion to get my card right back, and then I can use my moon earring to get my other my mana potion back so. yeah that'll definitely work then so we can probably if becky takes care of those we can probably just ignore the rest of the enemies um they're going to come in from both of the you know the kind of see the, the wings on either side um i mean we probably do want to try to get the chests also but we need to get the at least get the um the vocal cords you know down to 
half or maybe only one or two of them left before we try to get the chests and then finish them off. Is Ben back? Yeah. Yep. Yoji. So are you killing both of the elites, babe, or just one of them? I can kill them both. It's going to take me two rounds, but I can just outright kill them. Okay, sweet. But because she can instantly kill them, any damage that any any you know attacks against them are essentially wasted, um, so, uh, because she just gets nerfed. yeah. So the, all all attacks should go at those vocal cords, and ideally we need to try to kill four and then kill five and then kill six. <laughs> um, so we need to try to focus everything at them, and then we'll start attacking the other three, and then try to get the chests if possible. Um, I can do that. This one I can't do. So, all right, got my battle goal. Uh, go ahead and choose your battle goal, guys. And mission-wise, all we like, all we have to do is just kill the vocal cords. So if we can get the chests, that's fine. Uh, you know, that, that, that'd be good too, obviously. But um, if we kind of soften them up enough to, you know, to where we are comfortable that we'll be able to finish the mission and then, you know, we can jump for chests or whatever. Uh, mission text here is, uh, you stand before the entrance of the mountain cave, scepter in hand. Once again, the voice calls to you. Your intentions are noble. You fear me and wish to keep me imprisoned. I understand, but you are doing only, what you are doing will only lead to disaster and ruin. That scepter was not created to strengthen my prison. I created it. I used it to imprison one of my greatest foes, a being of death and hatred. I do not know what will happen when you bring that thing into my chamber, but I can dare guarantee you that no good will come of it. You block the voice's lies from your mind and venture into the cave. The passages are forked and twisting, but the scepter pulls on your arm, leading you down the proper path. You make your way to the echo chamber, and before the voice can speak another word, you raise up the scepter and channel its power. A black fog oozes from it and envelops you. The voice screams out once more, but there is no coherence in the sound, only pain. The fog begins to dissipate, and for a moment you feel a relief until you see that you are not alone in the echo chamber anymore. Or, you're not in the echo chamber anymore, but some dark and hostile realm instead. The voice rings out again, but somehow it's different. The power of the voice is mine. You will not be... You will be the first I destroy with it. Uh, and then the special rules, meaning, you know, in regards to what those vocal cords do... Each vocal cord, represented by a numbered tokens, uh, one through six, has the hit, uh, associated hit points uh, uh, math of it. I set us down to normal, by the way, uh, because when anytime you see that where there's, uh, you know, a formula associated, uh, there's a big difference in difficulty between normal and hard and the harder difficulty. So I just set it down to normal so we can finish it without it taking forever or you know being too much of a slog. Um, anyways, while each of the different chords are alive, they create a different detriment to the players according to the following list. While uh, vocal cord number one is alive, all monsters add plus one attack to their to their attacks. While vocal cord two is alive, all monsters gain advantage on all their attacks. And while three is alive, all monsters heal one hit point at the start of each of their turns. All of those suck, but I assure you the others are worse. <laughs> Starting with four is uh, all characters and, and character summons suffer one damage at the start of each of your turns. Uh, vocal cord number five is all characters and character summons gain disadvantage on all of your attacks. And vocal cord number six is all characters and character summons deduct minus one attack from all of their attacks. So uh, I would... S well, shit, maybe one damage isn't that bad early on as long as we get them dead before the other enemies start coming in. Maybe we go... Because six... Four, five, and six are pretty bad, but even going six, five, four early on when we're not taking any other damage because the vocal cord doesn't fight back. So as long as Becky kills those two night demons right there, the only damage we'll be taking is one hit from one of the night demons before uh, you know, before the others arrive from the other rooms. So maybe... Yeah, and I'm going first quarter, so this guy will be dead in the first quarter. Okay, so we should only, for their entire you know duration of them being alive, we should only take one total hit, not for everybody, just one attack potentially from one of the night demons. Um, obviously the others will come from the other rooms and attack us too, but uh, that won't happen instantly, so maybe we do go six first. I can I can probably kill six right off um, I think, because my new card uh, my new card that I just took uh, is, a, is a, a nice strong hit. It is a loss card though. Uh, yeah, I think probably whatever, whatever split up we need to, six, five, and four need to die as soon as possible. Um, and then the the thing will, is, what's that? Oh, will anyone be putting up darkness this round at all? 
Uh, no, because I'm going to consume it, and my other one doesn't put it up, no. Gotcha. Okay, thanks. Ben, you want to put yourself in the there? Uh, yeah. Can I do in the vocal cords, or are they immune to any kind of status effect? Kind of it doesn't say anything. Status effect? Yeah, it doesn't say any. Well, uh, well, Doom's a class ability, kind of, but it doesn't say anything about them being immune to anything, so they can... I mean, I would say that stunning them isn't going to remove the debuff, but so so stun yeah, kind of wasted or immobilized because they're not going to move anyway. Uh, they're not they're going to have regular actions like a like attacks or anything like that. They're just going to stand there until we kill them. Um, okay. But yeah, I would say doom still work on them. Sweet. Or poison, you know, for adding damage things like that. Uh, all right. Then in that case, uh, one, two, three, four. All right, so. Uh, Fox, what are, do you have any songs the first turn? Yep. Is it a range song by chance? Uh, sure. no, I was going to put the healing because, song I mean, to okay. try and uh, negate I the mean, take damage yeah. at every turn. Uh, yeah, that's a better choice. Alright, in that case, I will... I, will I thought that'd be a tactical all... move yeah, right here. No, it is, it is. It's, it's a better choice. I was just looking at range, but I'll move. I'll take care of that after. I'll ensure that every single thing is poisoned, so everything we do is maximum damage. We add an extra okay. for here on out. All right. I actually didn't bring the movement and range song. Um, I was gonna put either. Uh, I was gonna put the uh, attack song plus one to attack because we get a minus one to attack next. So I was gonna go healing, double song, and then attack. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that makes more sense anyways. Um, all of the the one, two, three ones, by the way, are buffs to the enemies, to the monsters. So if we can get these guys dead fast enough, then those don't really matter that much, which is why we're taking care of the debuffs first. Um, you know, the enemies will show up, but, you know, we can we can hopefully have the all the debuff, or the, the major ones that are debuffs to us dead first, and then we can focus on getting those dead as the monsters arrive. Uh, I will do... Can I move two to get to any of them? Let me see. Come on, like. Is it uh, for sure that six will die this round? No. Six will die next round. Two is next round. round. Oh, sorry, of okay. the night demons. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, so yeah. yeah be, so, Becky, you, you you were referring to these, obviously. Sako, is that who you meant? Was the night demons, or the vocal cords? Or, uh, vocal cords, but it's okay. Yeah, six. So six will not die this turn. Not by me, anyways. Um, Ben, can I trade you spots? Works for me. All right. Thank you. That will definitely help because that means I can fire at six. Uh, well, now, now I might be able to kill six this turn. Uh, let me see. I'll have to move over there, but I can, I can still pull that off. Um, if you guys could right. leave one super low yeah. with a status so on it, I would love to kill it. Oh. I'll make sure they're poisoned for you. You can take your pick. Okay. So, yeah, we can make sure that happens, is, you know, with the enemies coming in from the sides, too. Because I'm going to try and go, like, super and, uh, early. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to... Eh, if I pull Lucky, I can kill him this turn, but I don't want to waste that yet, so... Yeah, he won't be dead this turn, uh, but I will be uh, doing some damage, so... Might be... Enough that he softened up. Depends on how hard you can hit Fox. Uh, probably not, though. It, it, probably not this turn, anyways. Yeah, I'll just do that, I guess. Shit, that's such a weak hit, though. I'd rather, probably rather move. Because I was going like really early. Alternatively, I could go really late. Um, I can't do a strong enough hit this turn for it to really make a big difference anyway. Uh, okay. I'm gonna... Oh, shit. Now that I'm there... Yeah, all my... Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be able to do a, enough damage to, to weaken him up enough yet. Unless somebody else also hits him. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that for now. Just so I can get the favorite up. Alright, got my cards. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, player interface, start round. All right, I'm going at initiative 15, so uh, Becky would... Well, I get, well, first, demons, night demons. Uh, so they are going to get to attack before Becky, which sucks. <laughs> um, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, Becky, I think you did the last enemies, didn't you? 
Yeah. Been. Okay. No, you did the eye guys. Yeah. So, Fox, do you want to run those real quick? Uh, sure. Okay. So they're not gonna move because they don't need to. Yeah, we're going after the um, uh, I'll do six first, targeting me. Okay. So minus two. And minus one. Plus the card. minus one. So, so two. two damage. Yep. Okay, and then it brings up darkness. Yeah, extra free darkness. Okay, and then this one's gonna attack. Um, Nitro. Drawing uh -oh. plus one. It's fine. Yeah, so five so, damage. Five. And that is it for. No, there's one more. Just a regular over here. Oh, okay. Uh, there's two more. There's oh. Another one on yep. I didn't see him too. So can move to here, five. Oh shit, we're going to be getting swarmed a lot sooner than I thought. <laughs> I didn't realize how fast these guys move. Five. Alright. And that's it. And then it is your turn, Fox. Okay, so I am granting um, Night Child an attack of four. Woo. Ooh. Thank you. Alright. Five, six. And everybody's gonna have a um, heal one on their turn since your turn starts after mine. You get a heal one. Nice. And I'm done. And I'm actually, move. Hang on. I could actually use attack two. Might as well. Nice. Well, do you, so you you got a it's a rolling one, right? Or is it just oh no, it's not a rolling, it's just a rate. Okay. No, it's not rolling. So and two it's and it's it. done. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Fox. Um, all right, uh, Becky, what is your second card initiative on your second card? Uh, ninety. Okay. All right. So, so you'll probably you. go first. Yeah, I'm fifty-eight. So I am putting up the favorite. Uh, there we go. Um, and then attack one at range three. Kind of, oh shit! I am gonna end up going over there. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to waste the favorite on this. It's just gonna be an attack of one at the vocal cord, uh, at range three. Um, should I use the slug? No, I'll save that for a bigger hack. Yeah. All right. So attack one. Uh, <laughs> great. Oh, hang on. I I I definitely shuffled it. Yeah. So all right. So that's a waste of the bless, but still, it's two damage to the vocal cord. There we go. Alright, that is it for my turn. Go ahead, Becky. Okay. Hello? Does anyone need any other element? Because <laughs> I'm going to consume this darkness and then I just bring up two other elements with my potion, so... Uh, I could probably use some darkness as well. Can I um... consume the darkness that's here and bring it up with the same time uh does that work well which, okay which which what do you think actually up, you know what it's, it's actually not going to work because uh i planned this one out thinking that i wasn't going to have darkness so i think we're gonna we're good we're good out of need to use on the next turn does anybody else need any other kind uh, of i potentially can use wind um i can usually put it up myself but i mean if i don't have to then i can get an extra attack next turn so we'll do Wind and earth, and I will consume the earth and the darkness. All right, thank you. To kill this guy off. And then I'm going to move one, two, three over here. I'm going to turn myself invisible with my cloak, and I'm going to curse these guys. And that is my turn. All right. And that will bring us to the wind demons. Uh, Sako, these are you. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this isn't good. That's uh, going to be fun. Uh, let's see. Wind demons are... Oh, this, this is the one that there's only one or two of. There's yeah, just those two. Guys. Yeah. So I'll start with wind demon three. So they're moving first. 
they move, move plus a zero. four of oh, zero, so they don't move. Well, move plus or just, zero. Just the four, yeah. yeah. Two, three, four. And now air is up. Fuck. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yep, because now, so after the move, they're consuming the air to do that the second uh, area. But so, only one of them can consume it, so yay. That's true, yeah. Uh, and actually, and act, so if that's as far as he it can move, just missing, right? well, it would only hit Becky, and she's invisible, so he can't hit her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so that now air is consumed. He he would have attempted the attack, and the and the air being consumed as that's gone. So uh, okay, we lucked out there. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then there is no more air. He can't. So yeah, and he can't reach far enough to hit us. So can't okay. reach. It's only three. One, two, three. So he's good. Yeah, it's only two. Actually, it's only it'd be. It'd be these two, and then this one would be the edge of it. So he couldn't reach us. It's uh, it's not his regular range attack of three. It's the graph. It's what's on the graph there. So for, for that, it's an area attack. Um, all right, that brings us to your turn, Sako. All right, pull cards. All right, I had to burn that one card here uh, with the darkness. I could have used it on the, on the next turn. Uh, so, first things first, we will do uh, Vile Pestilence, uh, top portion of it, uh, range 2, so all these, uh, 1, 2, I'm going to do 4, 5, and 6 will be covered in this uh, poison. Okay. Attack 1, range the, 2, so I'll 4, 5, and 6. I'll put the on if you want to do the, oh, uh, okay, so the thing doesn't let, that's fine, I'm just going to put a poison token back here and we just know that they're poisoned. Um, okay. We'll go ahead and roll your attacks. All right, number four, negative one, so no damage. Neg uh, number five, negative one, no damage. Curse on number six. Uh, so we add a, add a curse to the thing, right? Yep. Okay, so and interface, interface yeah. add curse. And there you go. And you pull another modifier because that was rolling. Plus one, so two damage for six. All right. Then I'll use the bottom of the accelerated end, targeting token 1, 2, and 3, and poisoning all 1, 2, and 3. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'll put a token by them, too, then. All right. So all the vocal cords. They, they, it won't... Yeah, it won't, it, because it doesn't see them as enemies. So it won't so, oh. yeah, it won't stack on them like normal. But um, So every single t uh, one is now cursed, or cool. is now poisoned. Cool. Thanks, Sako use for those um all right living spirits then will be b uh which ones are the spirits that's these guys the ones that i was calling night demons before this mission has both so i have to be careful about that which ones are i'm calling night demons and, and so on uh but they are not moving and there's nothing within range minus one of them so they're not doing anything so they turns are over ben your turn all right Start by summoning Gregory Peck. Smash on some stuff on his next round. And then I am going to do the bottom of Inescapable Fate, since you said I could doom him, which is the yeah. thing where after three rounds, one of them is dead. So which one do you guys want me to doom and we can just let it die? Hell yeah. Um, probably left side, because three rounds is, is... Hopefully the ones on the right will be dead before then, so... Of the ones on the left, guys, uh, Ben, this is really your pick, of course, but uh, all monsters add plus one attack to their attacks, or monsters gain advantage on their attacks, or monsters heal one hit point at the start of each of their turns. I'd say probably yeah, advantage. Oh, uh, Which one? Sorry. Maybe two. What do you guys two. think? Yeah. Bye-bye advantage. I'm soon. All right. Um, so after a couple more rounds, he's just... Yeah, so what you'll need to do on that one, G, is go ahead and just... You'll have to track that, obviously, on because it's the start of your turns when it takes over, right? Yeah. Yeah, the next three turns. Okay. Um, so put that in your active area and then just put one of the little character tracker tokens on it and then uh, Wait. move it over each turn. All right. Ending the round. After you. Uh, yeah, do your cards first because I'm not sure if it'll try to remove your cards or not. I don't remember. All right. There we go. All right. 
Okay, so now that that's done, I can definitely finish six and probably kill five. Uh, I won't be able to do both. I can probably heavily damage five and kill six. Uh, let me see. Attack four. Right. Ah, oh, shit, I should have thrown my favorite at him, damn it. I can do that. Shit. I want to throw it before I do that. And now I need the wind, of course. Uh, I guess never mind. It wouldn't matter in this case, anyways. I think I might be putting up wind on this uh, thing. How early do you uh, want to go? It would help in this specific situation anyways. It, it would have in, in my original plan, but I'd already, I'd already kind of messed it up, so. Gotcha. Thanks, though. Uh, what do I want to do here? I really should have thrown the favorite last time. All right, I'm going to kill six really early. Um, and then move over there, I think, is what I'll do. And then set up for next turns. How far away is he, two? Saga, do you need darkness this round? Uh, no, I... I burned that card last round. I'm good. Alright, so six is going to die this turn. Um, anybody able to do any damage to four or five? Yeah, I can do four or five. Whatever you guys, you know, whatever damage yeah. you can do to them is fine. Um, I, I won't be able to kill four or five. I'll definitely be able to kill six this turn. I'll hit four and five. Okay. Does anyone need? And element this round because one of the cards I'm gonna play puts up darkness, so I will have an extra element if anyone needs anything. I don't right now, and I would be very careful about putting up air. Air is the only one that I use, um, and so so just because there are wind demons up, we don't want to put up air right now. So anything other than that is probably fine. I don't know what the other guys use. Probably actually darkness might be risky too, unless you're gonna spend it immediately. Yeah. Starting the round. I am going at initiative 11, so. Jeez. I could be this fast and still get beaten by two people. It's crazy. Alright, uh, Fox, your turn. Okay, uh, everybody yeah, so within range 3 of me gets well, shield 2. Or... Hell yeah. Thank you. And is... I'm going to be able to put up another song, and that's it. Awesome. That is everybody, though. All of us, so that's good. Ben, I'll take care of your bird for you. Oops, if I can click the right Thank thing. You. I don't know if I'm on the bird or not. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, so everybody's got a shield. Cool. That if your turn, Fox. Uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right, uh, Becky, your turn. Okay. So. I'm going to, I don't want to leave darkness up, so I'm going to use the bottom of Dancing Shadows first, so all attacks targeting me gain disadvantage this round, okay. and then it puts up darkness, and then I'm going to consume it, so I'm not even going to bother putting it up, 
So real quick, if, if you just in case this changes your plans, uh, they nobody would try to consume it this turn. Uh, the, the night demons are going to create darkness on their own, and you, that's that's not cheating. Like as soon as you start the round, you see what the enemies are going to do um, in the in the physical cards. So if that changes your plans, no, because if they're going to put darkness up anyways, then there's no point in already. Yeah, I could put something else up that someone could potentially use. Sure. Anyone have a preference between light, earth, ice, and fire, since they're the safest options? Don't use ice. I think ice could be risky in here. I think. Um, I think the maybe the night demons can use ice too. I'm not sure. Uh, Put some light up. <laughs> it'll at least be you know. A, a, if anything, actually, light might be a, a penalty. Like if you know, night demons might have a card. I don't remember off the top of my head, but they might have something that is a. Uh, you know, if light is up, they have disadvantage or something. There we go. All right. That guy is dead. That is my turn. Thank you. All right. Uh, then me. I'm at initiative 11. I am going to, uh, using the top of quick turnaround, I'm going to do an attack of four. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the... F oh, shit, he's got poison. But I don't want to... Hang on. I guess I don't need to throw the favorite for that, but then I can't... No. Okay. So, since he's poisoned anyways, four plus one is the poison. Uh, as long as I pull a plus one or better, that will definitely kill uh, the vocal cord. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, throwing it six. Motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I friggin' pulled a null, so he's still alive. No damage done. I didn't throw the favorite, but nulled. Uh, so, no damage done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the bottom of center mass for a move three to move up there. Uh, shit. I guess I'll go... I want to be able to use center mass at the same time. I'll go there. Um, damn it, that sucks. Alright. Uh, I didn't throw the favorite, so I still have that, but that really sucks that he's still alive. Uh, ben, your turn. Ready? Friggin' pulled the bless on a one point to double it to two points last round, which is a waste, and then I pull a null on this turn. Taco, you're gonna be hitting four, five, and six, or? Uh, let's see, now that we have this uh, turn of events, let me see if I can boost my range. Hold on. Uh, three. Range three. One, two, three. Um, I might switch it up a little bit and maybe hit five and six because five and six are more critical or is four more critical? It's about to transition, but six, yeah, six is, if, I would say six, five, four or priority order until enemies show up. But yeah, for, for right now, that's any of those three is fine really, but six probably finishing off would be uh, the best use of damage. Okay. I'll probably be hitting five and six then this round then. Okay. But I'm going to send... Gregory back up here, and he is going to hit number four. Okay. I guess three. Yeah. So he's going after forward with a cool mm -hmm. one. Uh, plus uh, one for poison, poison. right? Yeah. So five. So far, and well, for damage output, MVP is Gregory Peck at this point. He <laughs> <It> is. <laughs> he's winning the game. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then I am going to move myself up a little bit with the bottom of Flight of Flame to get up here so I can reach all these guys if need be. Okay, and I'm going to use the top of multi product Assault, which is an attack of four at a range of two, or I'm mean, sorry, for two different targets at a range of three. Cool. So I'm going to whack on four and five. You, so, you'll have disadvantage uh, if you hit either three or four. Oh, yeah, because I'm because they're, Yeah, but if you do five and okay. six, you won't have disadvantage. No, no, I mean, you can stay where you are, just hit five and six instead. All right, that's what I'll do then. Because it is a ranged attack, so you'd still be okay there. Okay. If you I'm want to start with an attempt on five. Attack of four with a modifier of yeah. <laughs> God damn it. We haven't been pulling nulls hardly at all lately, and all of a sudden we're pulling them both. All right, I'll, I'll shuffle it for you, G. Okay, thanks. Here you go. Well, I do hit number six now with a 
Hey! Uh, Alright, so that'll kill him, right? I think so. Four plus, be eight? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It would be nine. 8 plus poison, yeah. I'll pull the bless up for you, too. Alright. That's it for me, and that moves my thing up one more. So, I think after my next turn, number two is toast. Well, at the start of the turn after, yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, Sako, your turn. Thanks, G. Okay, so I guess we'll now tag four and five. So I will use the top of Blistering Vortex to hit four and five, and the uh, kind of angle is turned a little bit to the right, so that third piece is where the poison token is. Sure. So four, five uh, for a damage of three plus poison. Let me do my attack modifier. Number four. Where's the plus poison coming from? Oh, it uh, four, one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, have because poison. he has poison. Yeah, never mind. Sorry. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, what did I pull? Oh, zero. So only three damage on number four. Uh, four damage. Four damage. Sorry. Because of the poison. Yeah. Two, three, four. And number five attack modifier, plus one. So it's five damage to him. Five damage to him. Perfect. And then I will use my helmet. That put up weight, uh, by the way. Yeah, uh, I'll use my helmet to add one more distance to my next cast, and I'm going to cast it at Wind Demon number six. Okay. Uh, six is dead. Uh, wind, wind Demon six. Oh, Wind Demon, sorry. I was thinking about yeah. Uh And then uh, I'm going to target him for a mobilize. Awesome. So I will mobilize him. And unfortunately, wind is up. Uh, well, hang on. Before, because that, that's uh, never mind. Uh, range four. I was thinking you could get to the to the guys on the right, but they're, they're just too far even with that. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's six. Yeah, they're just out. Yep. With that second target, but that's all right. That's it. Cool. Thanks, Hako. All right, wind demons are up. Uh, ben, they are yours to run. Okay. They are. Move plus zero. Yeah, it'd be him first. The one on the left is immobilized anyways, but the guy on the right first. So only two of them? Yep. Okay, well then it's him. So he has all right, four, four move. Uh, he actually probably won't move at all anyways. Uh, it's an attack it's... minus one. He's going to consume air for, for a push, but that doesn't matter. So he's just going to... Uh, is there air? Still, I think, yeah, Sako just There's put it no... up. There's no... But... He just, Sako just put it up. It was one of his card, one of the things on his cards. But yeah. uh, it's a push anyways, and he does it because he's a ranged attacker. He's not going to move to get closer, so the push is irrelevant. So it's just going to consume the air, and nothing's going to happen. Um, but as far as the attack, though, it is still um, Becky. You're not invisible right now, right? Nope, but he has disadvantage, and I have a shield of two. Ah, okay. uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So well, it'll, be, it'll be Ben, and it'll be me and and uh, Becky that he attacks. Uh, well, then he's going to start on the top. He's going to go after you first with a modifier of plus zero. So, so two three damage. Uh, well, it would be two, two damage, but I have a shield. But you have two shield, right? Yep. So that's yeah. nothing. Okay. Uh, and he's going to try to hit Becky uh, with a hit with uh, curse. Negative. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Good luck out there. Cool. Thanks, G. All right, Night Demons. That'll be yours, Becky. Do I shuffle the enemy deck? Uh, no. The, so, okay. so if, if so, a curse is not a shuffle. It's just the regular ah, okay. null. Like it's it's the yellow card that has a you know an O with a line through it. That one. That's the okay. shuffle. So he's gonna go in here. He'll try to hit me. Disadvantage. No. <laughs> All right. Huh. And then this guy also gets to win. Two, three. And he can't hit anybody, so that's his turn. Oh, and they put up darkness. Yeah, darkness would have been after the first, but doesn't matter. They didn't spend it, so. All right, uh, living spirits. Uh, Fox, those are you. Yeah, so these guys do concern us from ice. So, good uh, things. Okay. Um, it's not up now, I just meant that. But that's an option. So that elite will move three first. But you won't be able to reach anybody after, so just move three. And then the other elite. 
There's a move three as well. He also won't be able to reach anybody. And this normal move two. He only gets two. Oh. And two. There we go. Cool. Thanks, Fox. All right, ending yeah. the round. Okay, now I can take care of four and five on my own for reals this time. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to use my thing so that I I can't pull a null. I'll just so, so I don't have disadvantage on it, and I'll take care of four and five. If everybody wants to shift and start knocking out one, two, three. Are these guys considered normal or elite enemies? Oh, as far as like instant for kill? my instant kill, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'd say they're normal. They're not. They're definitely not supposed to be elites. They're just uh, they're. they're object okay. creatures i don't know they're, they're like because there's nothing that says that they, they can't be hit by status effects or anything uh, but it doesn't specify anything about them being normals or elites we'll just say they're normals is the mission objective just to finish all of the vocal cords yep just to kill those okay. as soon as as soon as those six are dead the mission ends well the end of that right. round is when they'll end i um, can kill one this round so okay you can move far enough to get over there safely yeah, it just depends on which one you guys want me to kill. Depends on which move card I'm going to use. Okay. Okay, number two is already toast if it lasts that long. After yeah. my round after this. Not this round, but the yeah, next one. Ben already doomed two, so it's just one and three to focus on there. Um, and I just realized we haven't been using any of their their things. They're supposed to be applying buffs and debuffs. Uh, so six is already dead, which would be the minus one attack from all attacks, which I don't think it would have mattered because it was overkill on that one anyways from... Uh, uh, from S uh, Ben? Was that your attack that did that? I don't remember. Whoever killed that one uh, had overkill anyways. Yeah, Yeah, it was like nine and he only had like six. Yeah. yeah. Left. yeah. Like that. <laughs> um, so four is all characters. So the, while four and five are still alive, all characters uh, have disadvantage on all their attacks and uh, characters suffer one damage at the start of each of their turns. So we have to apply that real quick. Um, and we are on mm -hmm. turn three, so it's been two rounds since the start. So two damage to everybody. Uh, actually, sorry, one damage, because Fox put up a song that heals for one at the start of every turn. Mm -hmm. So, so you take the damage turn. and then you heal it, so it's irrelevant. It kind of cancels out. But it would have been at the start of the first turn, and we haven't had enough turns to heal higher than that. So we still would have one damage to everybody. Because well, you, no, you... because I put it up at the, at the start, and I was there before... My turn was before everybody else's. But your turn didn't happen before the vocal cords did. The vocal cords already existed at the start of the mission before we... before our turns happened. So we would have taken it. I guess it would have and been everybody after... Uh, everybody's turn was after mine, so I would have taken the damage, and everybody else would have been able to be healed because right. of my... Yeah, that's yes. fair. Okay, that's fair. Cool. <laughs> so, so no damage there. Uh, we still have disadvantage from five until it dies. So, right. uh, but I'll take care of. I'll, I'll try to go real early here and get four and five both dead real fast. Uh, okay, so I'll go after one and take it out since it's the farthest away. Okay, I've got a decent move. I still, yeah, I think we can probably finish this one here pretty fast then because they're just they, they don't have that much health anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and use my potion to make sure that I can get those guys dead. How are we um, feeling about the chests? I could make one move right now and jump on chest 30. Uh, which one is that? 30? Left. Uh, um, I can grab the one on the right uh, after I kill these two, possibly. Not this turn, but the turn after. Um, unless, like, I, I don't really need anything at the moment. I'm, I'm okay where I'm at, and I've, I've kind of overstocked as far as items already. I, I, can't, can't, I wouldn't be able to carry anything more uh, without selling it or trading something out. So I don't really need it. But I can get that chest if nobody else can get it on the right. So, did you want me to grab chest 30 on the left? Anybody? I don't think anybody else is close over there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be going super late, by the way. Both of my cards are real late. To get rid of number one? To kill vocal cord? Yeah. One? Okay. Um, let's finish this right. Let's, let's, you know, make sure these guys are, are weakened up, and then we'll just leave one of the vocal cords alive hopefully for fox to be able to kill with the status effect uh they all have poison on them by the way fox so if you okay, yeah. oh shit okay in that case then fox uh vocal cord four if you can do one damage to it or even zero because it's poisoned that will count so I'd, i won't hit four I'll, I'll leave four for you and i'll just kill five hang on uh yeah we had said that um uh, granted, counts as killing, right? Yeah. Okay. We did for Becky, so yeah. 
Okay, so my, I got my card back, so I was gonna grant you an attack. Uh, ranged or, or melee? Melee. Alright, I'll move then so that I can do that. Uh, I'll need to kill five and then move before I can do that. Uh, well, yeah. surrounded. Uh, the, the granted attack, attack is four, so with the poison, oh, okay. it should kill it anyway. Okay. Alright, then in that case, when are you going, is, Fox? Um, first so quarter? Alright. Um, a bit late first quarter. Okay, I'll go after that then, and I'll move after you give me that to kill it. I'll move over to the left, and I'll do a small attack that kills off four and does damage to three, is what I'll do. Uh, um, but I'm that's going to get me further from the chest, so somebody else is going to need to get the chest on the, on the right. I could, uh, I'll could. i head for the, check, okay. the chest next turn. All right. Is uh, next. light and darkness still going to be up at the start of this round? Or are they going to disappear? Because that may change things. Let's see. <laughs> Because uh, my they, big move and my regular kill are the same exact card. They're going to disappear as soon as we hit end round next, so not now. Uh, I could use the dark on the next turn if anyone wants to leave dark or put dark up for next turn. That would uh, be very beneficial. So, uh, I could probably put dark up the next round. I, I'm pretty sure, Becky, or at least how it's supposed to work, like when, you, when you're playing the tabletop, uh, it, when you hit, when you end the round is when you move those. So it should have already moved from strong into waning. In fact, actually, I know they did as long as somebody hit the button correctly um, because they put up darkness on the last round. So it's waning now, which is okay. accurate. So they should still be up during these two cards that you're playing right now. All right, then we're fine. All right. It's just going to be super uh, nice. Right. And then oh, I can yeah. put darkness up super early the next round for you, Sako. Sounds good. Then I know what move I'm going to make. We'll do this. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'll do a move three with a... I don't think anything's going to be over there for me to hit with it anyways. Uh, but I haven't thrown that yet, so that's fine. All right. Um, I'll be going around the middle so that it can make sure that uh, Fox's granite attack goes off first. All right, starting the round. I'm going to hit this, and we'll see, Becky, if I'm wrong. Sorry. <laughs> no, okay, I was right. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. So, they, yeah, they, when we hit end round is when they increment to the left one. Uh, so I'm in initiative 51, so I will be... Everybody goes except... Well, everybody, and then me, and then Becky. So, uh, Ben, you're first. Alrighty. Uh, uh, four and five, five are already accounted for. They correct. will be middle up very basically by the end of the or the middle of the round. They'll both be dead. Yes. Ooh. Is uh, it going to bother anybody if Gregory Peck moves there? Uh, one, two, three. Uh, I'll be all right as long as as long as that where as long as this one stays open. That's fine. Okay. Is that cool, with everybody else? Yeah, I'm going yeah, over to fine. number one. I'm going over here. All right. I'm going over to number one. <laughs> that one. Can't stop you. <laughs> are you, are you going to stand right in front of number one? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, That's I have to be right moving. next to it to kill it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Should we'll still make here. this work. I thought, are you going for chess, right. Sako? Uh, no, I have to on the next turn. You said okay. No, well, not so, have to. Just you know, whenever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if as long as we know these guys are going to be taken care of, it doesn't yep, really matter. We're fine. Uh, Gregory Peck is going to swing on vocal cord number three, pack of three with a modifier of four, one, so four, uh, five. five. He's poisoned. Yep. We might actually end this with Gregory Peck being the damage MVP. Right He's our DPS right now. The killer. All right, for me. Oh, our shields fell. Uh, Fox, that that two shield was a was a. It was just for the one turn. Okay. Okay. Those are off by now, then. All right. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother to move at the moment, so I'm just going to be burning Crippling Noose. I'm going to use the top of Race to the Grave for an attack of five at a range of five on a single target. And I'm going to hopefully finish off number three here. Well, hang on, hang on. Which one is that? Or I could, race I to could the use grave. it on... Yeah. yeah, so that that would be a ranged attack, which means if you did it on that guy, you'd have disadvantage. So. Ah, yeah, well, then I'm going to use basic movement then. Well, go. hang on, uh, yeah. hang on. You'd have disadvantage anyways, because we keep fucking forgetting these stupid debuffs. Oh, yeah, we have the thing. Yeah, so, I mean, you honestly, you might as well just do it even with disadvantage anyways, because it's still yeah, attack of five, so. So I'm going to 
it's an attack of five with the first modifier of stun or second modifier of times two shuffle. Well, so either so, way, he's dead. No. So oh, yes. Done, right? Yeah, it would. Yes, it would. Yeah, it would still kill him because he only has five hit points. Yeah, so he is still dead. So still, even with disadvantage, it's still a good hit. Uh, and that one, Ben, you see how that one says shuffle in the in the thing? Because that's the regular 2x modifier, not the bless version. So bless, okay. bless, you would just pull out without shuffle. Curse, you would pull out without shuffle. But the 2x, you know, the one that says shuffle and the uh, null that says shuffle, both of those you actually have to shuffle the deck after. So those ones stay in the deck on the physical Correct. version while yeah. you do that, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Sweet. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go shuffle it for you, though, real quick. Thank you. There you go. All right. Uh, so Ben killed three. Uh, oh, and two's dead now because I just finished my turn, so two's dead now too. I well, think. no, it would be the start of the following turn, right? Okay. Well, I, I, he, I hang on. Okay, was he already on three, or did you already did you just increment that just now? That was the last round. I didn't touch anything after okay. this round. In that case, he would have died at the start of your turn, so he oh, would have, okay. he would have died, you know, right before you made the attack. But yeah, he is my bad. Yep. And then you can discard that card or loss or whatever. All right, so in that case, um, shit. The mission's going to end right now unless we pull a punch, unless we intentionally don't kill something. Uh, because Fo because Fox is going to grant me an attack that's going to kill five. My attack would kill four. Becky's going to kill one, and that would be it. So if we want to intentionally not kill one of these... Uh, hang on, let me look at mine real quick for my battle goal. If anything, let's just pull punch on four, and then next turn we both run to chess early and have someone just tap number four. Yeah, I don't really even, like, I'm, I'm fine on loot, so if anybody wants to run for chess 55 on the right, Sokka's going to run for three yeah. on the left. Um, I was going to run four, but it's going to take me a couple turns. We can kill time as long as we don't die. We can just block okay. the enemies, that's fine. Um, hey, Gregory, back and take a hit or two while you yeah. guys run after chess or whatever. So. Well, I mean, it won't, like... As long as somebody's alive to do enough to do literally any attack that doesn't miss, because he's poisoned anyways. That vocal cord number four is poisoned. So if you do any kind of an attack that doesn't have a you know negative modifier, basically, uh, even if you do you know an attack zero, that would still kill him. Um, so you know whoever isn't going to be running for chests, you know, stay around these so that we can make sure that whoever's alive has range enough to to attack four and kill it. Yeah, uh, me and Gregory back can stay here then. Okay, I'll stay here too, because uh, I'll be I'll be you know able to hit it if we need to. Um, and then Fox, you'll just, you'll have to you know survive long enough to make it to the chest. You'll have to be able to make it through mm -hmm. the enemies. But apart from that, it'll be it should be safe. All right. So in that case, then uh, Ben or uh, sorry, so uh, Sako, your turn. So if you want to, uh, one is going to die on its own. So if you want to just you know basic movement or whatever to run for the chest, go right ahead. It's gonna I have take to a run to the chest on the next. I have to run to the chest on the next turn. I have one that'll move me six. Um, well, you might as well basic this... movement to you know start the track because the, there isn't basically there's no need for damage output at this point. One is going to be instantly killed. I can kill five with the granite attack that Fox is going to give me, and we have to leave number four alive. Okay, if I move to this one here and create another curse, that would just add another curse to their. Uh, their yeah, pocket so yeah. i'm going to do that sure. so i'm going to go ahead and move to use the bottom of creeping curse one two right here so now i'm standing next to number one and i will curse let me add that in real quick so why yeah go ahead and add it um before you before you go from there if, if, if this doesn't work that's fine uh, you know you, you can you can uh, uh you know change it however you want that is one enemy but since you're going to move towards the chest anyway, if you moved over here, these are enemies you could also curse, and you would be kind of already on your on your path there. Yeah, but I was going to kind of avoid it because they can hit for a total of eight if they don't have modifiers, and I only have nine hit points. Sure. Okay. Is so I'll just jump into be... one, Yeah, I got six. One, two, three, four, okay. five, six. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Plus, I got boots, so I can add another two or three, and boots are I can, one, I can, I can still... make. It. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then I guess the top one I was going to use against number one just to get the experience points in the wind. Sure. Uh, yeah, so I will attack number one for just two damage. Attack modifier coming up. Negative one. So just one damage plus poison. So two damage. And two experience and wind goes up. All right. 
And that's going to be it for my turn. And then my next turn, I'm just going to make a run for it on the chest. And I'm going to use my potion for stamina to get back my cards. Okay. And Fox, your turn. Okay. Um... Looked out there. The wind demons are. The wind demons could have used the wind to make a big AOE, but they're just creating it this turn anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'm going to yeah, grant you an attack of four. All right. Um, since I'm not going to need it for the other guy, I'm going to go ahead and use my Ecolite Goggles on this I'm, one to make I sure. Also, okay. well, first, I'm going to activate a song that gives you adds so plus one attack to uh, one of their attacks each turn. Okay. And then I'm granting you an attack. All right. Uh, and I use my Eagle Light so that I can... Uh, oh, shit. It would be disadvantage, so this just makes it a normal roll, so there's at least less odds of pulling the null. Yeah. All right. Uh, normal roll of plus one. All right, so he still dies. So you get your thing. Your uh, PQ uh, interval increment, uh, and he's dead. Anything else in your turn, Fox? Uh... He's yeah, I'm going to heal self. So I use the... Uh, I'm going to heal self for five. I can move to here. Okay, we're good. All right. Good. All right. So next would be wind demons. Uh, they are going to do move plus zero. So they're... Uh, was he... Immobilized last turn or not? I don't remember. Ah, uh, they didn't try to move, but I don't remember if he was or not. That's fine. I'm gonna leave it. Um, he has a rage stack anyway. So, uh, wait, is this one first? Yeah, it's the one on the right first. So, uh, would be attack of three, targeting one with a. Is that a pull of one? Yeah, that has to be a pull, right? Yeah, it's pull one. Okay, that's weird. Uh, he would be putting up wind, but it doesn't matter at this point. So he'll be attacking me with a uh, attack of three. I would technically be closer. Oh shit, you are, sorry. I had I had you kind of blocked by the night team in there. All right, so he's gonna do, uh, what did I pull, minus one. So it's an attack of one, uh, two against you and pull you over one, which actually, you know, is beneficial anyway since you're going that direction. Yeah. Yep. Uh, did the other one. I don't remember if he was still immobilized or not. Uh, but he does have range attack, so it doesn't really matter. One, two, three. F uh, yeah, range three. Uh, I guess it, it kind of does actually matter in this case. Um, so there to make a range attack against Gregory Peck. Uh, would be plus two. Uh, that's enough. That'll kill him. So your birdie's dead, G. Damn it. Would have pulled him, but he's dead. All right. Uh, and Ben, that brings us to you for enemies. So living spirits. You want to run them real quick? Hey. Move minus one. So, so the elites, we got number one over here. Yeah, the elites will move three, and the regulars will move two. Hey. This way. You can get over to this side. Yeah. And then he's got range attack, so he'll be able to hit Sako. Okay. Got a range of four, and with an attack minus one in muddle. Okay. Going after Sako. Right, minus one and model. So two, right? Yep, two damage and model yeah. on Sako. Will I still be able to run muddled? Yeah, muddled just uh, gives you disadvantage on attacks. Oh, gotcha, okay. Which we don't really need to kill anything else except for these guys, so I think it's not too big of a deal. All right, so number six is going to move now. He's uh, got a three movement as well. So okay. he won't, uh, actually, yeah, he will. He'll be able to hit Fox. Ooh. Ah, okay. So going oh, after Fox with a four. Attack a three. Well, three. A card, yeah, three plus modifier. And, and a curse. Nothing. Nice. Uh, still, she still gets the model, but okay. shouldn't hurt her too bad since she doesn't need to hit nothing. Fox is muddled, all right, and the two regular ones, so three and four. Yeah, they're going to move two. three is going to move this way. And with a range three, one, two, three, can't reach anybody. Okay, just out, oh, okay. Yep, 
And this guy's gonna do the same. And also can't reach anybody. Okay. Cool. Um, it, this one could have moved through this one, strange. right? He was further. Where was he? He would have he was, landed. Yeah. Wait, what? They had to move minus one, so they had a two. Oh, yeah, the card is a move minus one, so he could only move two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right, that's it for those guys, right? So does Night Demon, uh, Becky. All right, so attack minus two, target three at range three, consume darkness to muddle. There's dash. Oh no. Yep, darkness is up. Oh, fuck. Yep. So they're gonna muddle, but oh shit! Did you that's need that darkness for this? Good. Yep, sure <laughs> did. Has you, to be darkness. Do you have your potion still? Or you already used it. You used it. Okay. Nope, we used it the last time. <laughs> this is what but... I was saying. If, if darkness is up and they consume it, it can cause problems or wind. But we got lucky on the wind, so that's all right. We, we were killing time anyways, Becky. To oh shit, you're gonna need your cards back though. Oh no, actually, my other card gives me darkness, so we're okay, good. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, right. Where was I? Okay. Um. Uh... Uh, so my last card that I played said that they had disadvantage for the round, so that's over this time, correct? You played it on or your turn? Or is it until turn? my turn? It's until your yeah. turn starts, so it's still going right now, yeah. Okay, so then he still has disadvantage. For which he would have disadvantage anyways, because it's... Yeah, he's right next to you. Yeah. Ranged, yep. yeah. And he can't move, so... Zero. So three. It's already minus two. And then one, two, three, and so you would and, box. and Fox, yep. Alright, so we'll go with Fox first. Hey, all right. No. No, that's good. That's what we want. And then we'll go with yours. Well hang on, you gotta shuffle it, so. Oh shit. Alright, now go ahead and pull the modifier. Yeah, it's worse probably, <laughs> but I mean it, odds, odds were good that it would be worse, but it was still. Uh alright, so it's a five plus two, so seven damage shit. Yep, and then we're both models. Oops. And muddled, all right. I was oh, already no, muddled. Already. So uh, hang on, no, no. It, well, it's it doesn't make, does it make it muddle for the entire? It, it does. Yeah, it would be for the entire attack action. Looking for the card. Yeah, yeah it is. It's uh, no, that's with the spirit. I'm looking for one. Okay. Yep. Okay. Three, one, two, three. He can't hit anybody from where he's at. So that's it for them. Yep. All right. Now my turn. Uh, I am going to do, uh, well, shit, actually, now that, uh, I, okay, you are still going to be able to assassinate the yeah. number one? Okay, yeah, I right. forgot my move. I'm, let me double, let me flip this real quick, but I am almost positive. Yeah, my move get, puts up darkness, okay. so we're good. All right, then in that case, if you're still doing that, then I, I won't kill four. I, my initial plan was to, to hit both of them, but uh, I'll go ahead and do, it uh, would be... Some experience, but this would get the. I guess Fox is Fox is okay. She's gonna survive long enough to get the chest. Uh, I'll go with the experience then. So I will do. Uh, move two. I'll let Jason Winnie suffer one damage. Uh, I can't get. Yeah, I can. There we go. All right. So move two. He suffers one damage. Move one. I'll let Jason Winnie suffer two damage. Whoops. There we go. Two damage. And then move one. So we'll go there just to draw attack so that they can hit me and, and uh, Fox can run over the chest. Uh, and then I'll do center mass, which is an attack of three at range three with immobilize. I'll go ahead and hit the night demon there. So attack of three plus one is four. There we go. And that is it for my turn. Uh, Becky, your turn. Okay. So, we will move six. Now we need five. That'll put darkness back up. And I will consume that. And the air will leave light up. That's a least risky and one right there. Yeah. yeah, we'll kill this guy off. There we go. All right. And then it's my turn. Ending the round. And light falls off. 
All right, so uh, just chests, and then we can kill it. So, uh, Sako, you, you should be able to... You have a jump with your boots. You should be able to make it to the chest this turn, right? Yeah, it's not going to be a problem. Okay. Uh, Fox, you be able to, you have a move three to be able to make it to the chest this turn? Yes. Okay. All right, so then Ben uh, and Becky and me can, you know, whoever has it. If somebody needs to kill the vocal cord, anybody need to, to you know, do damage to kill the vocal cord? Mm-hmm. Nope, I'm going down here. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, then, Ben, if, if you've got something to hit it, uh, or I can throw at it just to make sure that it, you know, between the two of us, we can make sure that it dies, uh, and then this will be the last round, so. Oh, wait. I, I won't if be you can move towards it early, that would be great. What, Becky? Or what, Fox? If you can move towards it early, that would be great. Move towards what? The vocal cord. Huh? What do you, what do you, what are you looking to happen? My battle goal is to take a certain amount of damage. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I, the I moved... one time I need to take damage, yeah, really. is rolling a null. <laughs> well, I I moved over here specifically to draw their attack so that they wouldn't hit mm-hmm. you because I have more hit points than you do. So you could have said something. I could have moved elsewhere. <laughs> mm. All right. I'm kind of tired, so I'm not yeah, all there. All right. Uh, I'll I'll move to the northwest then to get out of the way. Uh, and then they'll all be around you. So as long as you, I mean, try to get the chest, obviously, but as long as you are uh, closer mm-hmm. to them, then they'll focus on you. So I'll go early for that, and then uh, I'll throw that for experience. Uh, so I'm going to, I mean, you guys need to get the chest because the, the, the thing will die very early. Yeah, I'm going to get mm-hmm. it. Yeah, so as long as you guys, you know, make it to the chest this round, then we'll be fine. Ben, you still choose the cards? Um, I'll go super early and give Sako the darkness. Okay. And yeah, I'll be over. I think I should be good. I don't really need the darkness anymore, but uh, if you got something that'll help out, that'll work. Got it. I'm going to switch my cards. I'm going to find issue of order. Sorry. You just, yeah, you just stacked them, so you'll need to pull one. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Because I want to go later, so you guys can run to the chest. Well, it doesn't matter. Like the, the full round happens anyway, so it doesn't that part doesn't make any difference. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. It's, they just have to get them this round is all that matters. So. Okay. All right. Ready to go. Starting the round. I'm at initiative eleven, so the wind demons are going to go before us. That sucks. Uh, air is not up. All right, we lucked out. Oh not no, up. they're consuming any element to turn it into air, so it's fine. There's no elements. But there's no up. elements up. Yeah. So they're, they're shielding. No, it will still be fine. It will still be all right. Uh, the movement through these are like Fox already has a clear shot, so as long as she can get over there without being blocked by the enemies, then it, it'll be all right. Okay. Uh, uh, so it gives itself a yeah, it shields. Uh, it would move and then it, and then make an attack. And we're eco distant anyway, so we can just have them attack you. Okay. It's a small so attack, shield... anyways. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Did you want me to run them? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna try the modifier plus one. So it's three. And that's it for that one. Right. Uh, He'd be move minus one, yeah. This one, yeah. Oh, no, it's range, so it's it wouldn't move at all, yeah, actually. Yeah. Uh, but it would attack Death Shroud. Or Night Shroud, sorry. Yep, that's Becky. With a disadvantage, because the uh, range, right? No, three. He's, he's range, he's oh. okay. Yeah. He didn't move up next to her, so. Uh, do you have a way to mitigate the damage? Uh, no. No, because my disadvantage three. dropped last round, so. so four damage. Okay. Uh, that's it for those. Well, it was attack minus. Oh, and he pulled plus one. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Minus one, plus one, three. All right. Uh, Becky, your turn. All right. All right. Whoops. I don't mean to do that. The attack for the top part doesn't matter, so I'm going to one, two, three, use my boots to get four, and then I'm going to loot, and it'll put up darkness for anybody who needs it. <laughs> I'm going to take both of these. Nope, maybe. And that is my turn, because I have one gold. I still got shit I want to buy. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, your turn, Sarko. I'm after you. Okay, just gonna use my potion to heal up. Uh, five on self. Just in case I take a pot shot. There you go. Uh, gonna use six movement with a jump. Adds one experience and puts up wind. One, two, three, four, nice. five, six. One experience, puts up wind. And then I will use the bottom of uh, Scatter Terror for attacks targeting me have disadvantage this round. Nice. That's it. All right. And then uh, I'll loot the chest at the end of the no, you, thing. You've looted Wait, you turn. used two bottom cards? Uh, yeah, you couldn't do the disadvantage. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Never mind. So just burn that top card then. Don't okay. worry about that one. You could always just like attack them for the 2 XP. Well, uh, was it a range attack on the top one? Uh, that was... Is it? Uh, yeah, range three. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, good. that's... It's the other one. No, he, the it's, bottom... Yeah, oh, it's range three, attack three targets yeah. for two. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a burn card, it's a burn card, but you could always do it for yeah, the two XP. You know, yeah, since it's last if round you... anyways. Sure. Let's take the two XP and don't worry about rolling them. It's at the end anyways. It, it wouldn't kill them, and it doesn't matter if it does kill them unless you have it's a battle goal, goal for it. Yeah. So just go ahead and yep. add the experience. And then uh, getting the chest, just click on the chest. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you'll have to move yourself. State off. number two. No, no, no. Move yourself off, and then that thirty. Click that number. There you go. Oh, perfect. And then put yourself back, and then you can flip that card over there. Oh, that one actually you've got to change the state. So change that to state two. State two, there it goes. Oh, there you go. Well, you get a perk. Thank or you. Get a, you get right a, a check mark, not a perk, but a check mark. All right. Uh, I'll add that now, I guess. Yeah, go ahead and edit. And that's it for my turn. All right. Oh, and I just got a perk thanks to that. Awesome. All right. Uh, now it's my turn. I'm doing the top of quick turnaround for an attack of four. Um, no, sorry. I'm using the bottom of uh, uh, quick turnaround for a move three. One, two, three there and then uh it will be yeah, i bet within three of them yeah the top of fearsome efficiency for an attack of six i'll go ahead and throw the favorite with it to make an attack of nine with two experience to throw at the last vocal cord plus two vocal cord only had one hit point so it is dead but a couple experience for it and now i'm on the other side of them so the enemies will go kill fox instead of me and your turn fox okay uh so i'm gonna do an attack of two Zero, it doesn't actually hit because it has too much shield. And then I'm going to move three onto here and then add a curse to their deck. What was the chest? Yep. Hey, perk also, or a check mark. Nice. nice. All right, uh, Ben, your turn. And that gives me a perk. Uh, right. Ooh, both of you guys got right. That's awesome. There's not going to be anything for me to do, uh, because everything is out of the range, so All I'm right. just going to skip. All right. Uh, the well, we'll skip the demons as well, because it doesn't matter if they kill us at this point anyways. As long as one person survived, which they would, so nothing for them to do. All right. Um... Kind of surprised. Did not expect to finish this mission. Uh, finish two, literally two <laughs> entire missions tonight. Usually we get through like, you know, 90% of one mission. Sometimes one whole mission, but we've finished two entire missions. That's pretty crazy. But it also helped that we didn't have to kill everything. Yeah, that's a big one. So mm -hmm. once more we have to do, you know, tons of combat where we have to wade through, you know, entire fields full of enemies and so on. All right. So ending the round. Um, everybody, everything off there that's needed. I got my stuff off, so that should be fine. All right, I'm going to go delete the board. Uh, this was normal. Oh, I did not add the bonus experience for the last mission to myself. I only added the, the three from the oh. thing. When you have a set, could you do that uh, card swap thing for me for the perk? Oh, yeah. Uh, you get, Go ahead and pick which perk you want. Um, Becky. It was it was uh, take one zero and uh, replace it with a plus two. Okay. All right, let me close this out. So Thanks. We, if we get the level and everything here. Um, and Fox, did, you said you got a perk too? Yep, I'm doing my own card. Okay, yeah, as long as you know how to do it, go right ahead. Oh, uh, let me... No, and scenario one. 
There we go. And delete map. All right, yours was uh, remove a plus zero, add a plus two. Uh, correct, yeah. Which, uh, this I one put right the here. check mark. Got it. All yep, right, I just put the check mark there. All right. My experience still shows 346. Was it supposed to go up when you clear, cleared the board? It definitely did. Thank you. I mean, 346 was past the level. So oh, yeah, that's seven, right. So it definitely went up. Uh, let's see, because 345 is a level, so you're going to need to pick another perk for level 7 and get your level 7 card and everything, too. All right. Uh, we'll just make it easy. I'll just do the same uh, same thing for the perk. Replace another 0 for a plus 2. Okay. All right. You pull out the plus zeros. Anybody else level up? Nope. Sadly, I did not take um, the six required damage. Oh, really? Even after that? Uh, shit, you could have, Fox. I could have? Well, you had the night demons right next to you, so there were two. Oh, I, I skipped right. them. I skipped them forgetting that you needed that. So, I mean, you they were right next oh, yeah. to you. They would have probably done that much damage to you. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll just put the check mark. Yeah, I, I, I forgot that you needed that. Like, uh, I skipped them, but they were right next to you. They would have been your only... They, they, you would have been the only target for them, and there were at least two, maybe three, within range to attack you. Yeah, so I just had to lose yeah, six or more hit, hit like, points in a single round. So I took, I think, two or three from the first one. I would have taken one, so as long as they would have done three damage. Yeah, I would have been good. Yeah, that's that's pretty safe bet. Um, battle goals? Ben, sorry, Ben, what were you going to say? I actually got mine and it gives me a new perk. It was stubborn, which is never lose a card to negate damage. I don't think I even took any damage at all. Nice. And that puts me in another perk. All right. Uh, which one do you want to take? I'm going to do the add one, add a target card. Okay. And it's a rollover card too. That's a useful card. It's really That's nice. It. Oh. Uh, there we go. That's your new one. It's red, so it looks like it's a negative card, but it's not. That's a that's a good one. All right, that's added for you, G. You need six more experience before you level up. Jeez, yeah, Becky is I way behind. Yep. Oh, that's right. You got the free level. Yeah, you were the furthest by because you were level five. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's gonna take you a little while. Did you get Did your we get any scenario gold or any? Uh, oh, any sorry. Gold? I didn't. Yeah. Oh, uh, hang on. I didn't read the ending for us for finishing that. Uh, let's see. Uh, conclusion. A strong note of dissonance rings out as you snap the last cord, and then there is silence. Your vision fades, and you return to the echo chamber, now empty and still. You search the cavern for signs of the voice, but all you find are a stone tablet covered in foreign glyphs. And you see, that right there is why I said, like, narratively, it doesn't make sense for us to still be able to continue on the other path where the voice is, you know, where we're doing things to help the voice, because it's gone. We just killed the vocal cords, mm -hmm. and it stopped, you know, speaking. But anyways, we find a stone tablet covered in foreign glyphs, uh, which are like the same kind of glyphs as the card that Fox has. So these I'm... are the. This is it. Where is it? At? I put it on yeah. the side. Yeah, it's the same card. So if you look at the book down here, Fox, it's the same thing, and, and it's it's specifically it's intended for you to be able to translate what that text says. But the part that that is important here is the the thing that says uh, global achievements. The voice silenced. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, it does it does lock it out, Fox. It even says where it says lost party achievement is the voice's command. We, oh, yeah, okay. so the, the the mission that says that it requires the voices command complete, we won't be able to do that, which would be the other fork. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but anyways, the global achievement we got is the voice silenced, and that's what will like that that whole text thing. You have to be able to have that achievement for that text to translate. I'll add it to our sheet here. Uh, where to go? Here it is. All right. So we have that now. Um, I don't, you know, mind if you guys want to. We can still just do the other, uh, other fork of the missions as well next time. Doesn't really matter, just so we can see it all. Because we, we won't. Ha I'm well. I don't know. We we can play the rest of uh, Gloomhaven anyway, and then you know once we're satisfied with you know having played as much as we wanted of it, uh, we can start Frosthaven instead. Um, you know, just basically instead of replaying Gloomhaven to see the other parts, we can just play through it. Know, with these same characters, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Um, the narrative isn't <laughs> all that gripping, anyways. Uh, all right. Um, ben, 
Ben got your perk. Uh, Becky, did you get... You didn't level. Did you get perk? No? I got a check, but I didn't get a perk. It was have five or more cards in your hand or discard pile at the end of the scenario. Um, I'm level six, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got free level six. Okay, then I should have one more health point. Yeah, so what if, yeah, if you leveled up, then you need to... Uh, you'd be uh, 15. Okay. So right-click in the middle where it says 14. Right-click that. Uh, I'm 12, or 7, so I should have 12. Yeah. And then right-click the middle part again. Oh. There you go. Uh, and Fox, you're 7. Did you level up to 7 already? Um, I don't think so. I oh, think I should have did. 12. Point. Well, yeah, but did you get your level 7 level-up card also? Because you 345, like you were two missions ago, I think you should have been level 7, it looks like. Unless you just no. got a ton of experience this time. I don't think I even checked the level 6 cards, because I still have level 6 cards. You, yeah, you didn't. Well, unless you chose a lower level 1. I don't think so. Yeah, so you... Well, here, I mean, we can tell this way. Hang on, Before, I'll put that back. Well, actually, hang on, yeah. So, hang on one second. Let me let me check. Just took these two off of the deck here. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I what I meant is that you should have one of each level before that. Uh, you do, yeah. So you never chose your level six, and then you know you get to Four, choose level seven. seven as well. Okay. Yeah. I think we were supposed to do the level ups the next time we came on, and uh, I completely forgot. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. So you get to yeah up through there's your two sevens on the right go ahead and okay and then i get to choose at one of the six and one exactly of the yeah so choose one of the sixes first well six five four three or four and then you know seven and then the chosen ones you haven't chosen already uh sako uh you just dinged up too sako yeah i just added the seven okay just now uh did you already choose a seven card level seven card yeah okay once yeah one seven card all right so remember you'll have to choose you'll have to take one of these out to be able to put the seven in because your hand size is 11. So you should you can have 11 All cards right, up here. Yeah, whichever one you want to put up there. Take one out. Yeah. Right, well, as long as you, well, actually, hang on. So so did you already? Because you, you, it looks that looks like 11, right? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, yeah. So take one of those out and put it in this part down here. 6, 7, 8. Whatever, whatever card you want to. It doesn't matter which one. It's up to you. Sounds good. I'll move one over now. I just, I literally put it in like a second ago. Uh, and then personal quests. I don't know if I've ever leveled up to level six because my HP is still at fourteen. <laughs> uh, you were supposed that. to. You were supposed to. Like you earned your level six the normal way, so I think you did. Let's double check. We nope. can just level nope. it up. At you still. If you want. Yeah, you I still have. Care. You still have two level sixes right here, G. So you didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I, you guys need to know when you level up. I can't do it all for. Well, that was totally me. Yeah. Not I that, didn't even notice. Yeah. I was looking at the chart. Just like, oh, shit. Yeah. Not that I mind, but I, you know, trying to keep track of everybody's is a little more complicated. Just like D and D, you guys need to know your characters too. Uh, yeah. So level six, you should have fifteen hit points. So I'll take care of that for you, Holmes. And then you need to pick a new perk. This is on top of the checkmark one you just got, so this is your level up perk. You could do another one of that add one target if you wanted to. I'm going to have to uh, drop off real quick. Yeah, go ahead, Sarko. We're just going to finish this up. So. That works. That's what I'll do. Uh, I, have we, should night, be, guys. we should be Later, guys. next week, so night, Sarko. I'll okay. do another one of that add target cards, please. Okay. Flipper.